Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Pirates. Being salvaged onto the ship by Roger at the beginning. Chapter 81. The old man was very happy. On the Chibayote archipelago, Hao put his hands behind his head, whistled, and walked briskly in the direction of his memory, where there was an old friend. Twenty minutes later, Hao came to an ordinary tavern called Shaochi's Rip-Off Bar. Well, I shouldn't have come to the wrong place. Sha Hao looked up at the name, and then walked inside with his long legs. Crack. The wooden door was pushed open, and a group of people in the tavern were drinking and bragging. They didn't care about Sha Hao's arrival at all. After all, there were all kinds of people coming to the tavern, and Sha Hao looked like an ordinary teenager. Especially after the opening of the Great Pirate Era, there were countless pirates pouring into the Grand Line. As the last island in the first half of the Grand Line, the Sabayati Archipelago was a mixed crowd of people, including the world government, the navy, pirates, ordinary civilians, and even a few celestial dragons occasionally. It was all normal. Hey, it's a handsome young man, are you here for a drink? In front of the counter, the proprietress Sha Chi, whose age did not match her real age, was holding her chin with one hand, smoking a cigarette and puffing out smoke. Looking for someone, Sha Hao answered directly, sitting on a chair. Looking for someone. This is just a tavern, where can I find someone, little brother? Rayleigh. Sha Hao opened his mouth and spit out two words in a flat tone. As soon as the voice fell, a strong murderous aura emanated from Sha Chi. In an instant, invisible pressure enveloped the entire tavern. A trace of cold pressure made everyone in the tavern shiver subconsciously. They looked at the clear sky outside and the sun was shining brightly, and scratched their heads. I don't understand why it was so cold just now. You felt it too. Circle dot operator oh circle dot operator. Yes, yes, I feel the same. It's weird, there must be a ghost, no wonder I'm so unlucky today, come on, drink, drink. Everyone in the tavern looked around carefully, whispered and observed everything, and after finding nothing unusual, they drank and boasted again. Ha ha ha, sure enough, it seems that Mr. Rayleigh has settled here, Sha Hao didn't take the murderous aura released by Sha Chi to heart, opened the thermos with clear water on the side, slowly brewed a pot of tea, and then tasted it. Because Sha Hao knew very well that with Sha Chi's intelligence ability and his relationship with Rayleigh, Sha Chi couldn't possibly not know him. Brother Sha Hao, Rayleigh just wants to settle down here peacefully now. If you want to invite him to go to sea again, it is absolutely not allowed. Sha Chi took a puff of cigarette slowly, puffing out smoke. Sha Chi yearns for the quiet and peaceful life now, and also does not want anyone to break it. After so many years of wandering on the Grand Line and being hunted for so many years, Sha Chi knows in her heart how hard it is to have such a stable life. No one can destroy it. Underscore. Ha ha ha, I didn't expect Aunt Sha Chi to be angry sometimes. It seems that Mr. Rayleigh has really found his happiness. Don't worry, I came here just because I missed him after not seeing him for many years. As for going to sea, I have my own partners. The era of the previous generation has passed for most of the time, and young people will eventually step onto a new stage. What an interesting brother, you are indeed the same as Rayleigh said, with different thoughts from ordinary people. After Sha Hao stated his intention, Sha Chi once again resumed the intelligence queen who served with a smile, and looked at Sha Hao calmly. If I'm not mistaken, the old guy is at the auction house because he lacks money to buy wine. Auction house. When Sha Hao heard where Rayleigh was going, he remembered an interesting thing in his mind. The former vice captain of the Roger Pirates, Pluto Silver's Rayleigh, sold himself to the auction house as a selling item because he had no money. What a bad taste, Mr. Rayleigh. Sha Hao shook his head, and then asked about the location of the auction house. He walked in the direction indicated and saw a huge building auction site from a distance. As the largest auction house in the Sabayati archipelago, even the celestial dragons often pay attention to it. When they encounter some rare auction items, they will bid with a wealthy attitude. Behind this auction house is the Don Quixote family, and its owner is even more notorious. One of the seven warlords of the sea, Da Flamingo, a celestial dragon who lived in the former holy land Marihoa, is an extremely fierce man, and also a man who wants to put the celestial dragons down. A person who has fallen from the altar. Fifteen minutes later, Sha Hao entered the auction hall as a competitor. 
Looking at the rich people, nobles of the kingdom and others, Sha Hao had a bold idea in his mind, but he quickly suppressed it. Mr. Rayleigh finally found a stable home, and it can't be destroyed. After thinking for a while, Sha Hao shook his head to get rid of the strange idea in his mind. People and objects on the auction table kept going up and down, and the sound of bidding was endless. The corners of the auctioneer's mouth on the auction table were grinning. Obviously, this auction was very successful. Another auction with a lot of money. Finally, after Sha Hao was very bored and waited for an hour, Rayleigh's figure slowly appeared on the auction stand. People were not very interested in this ordinary old man. Only two or three people bid. In the end, 100,000 berries were bought by a man as strong as a pig. Ah, what a poor fellow. Sha Hao shook his head, expressing sympathy for the successful bidder, then stood up from his seat and followed a guard delivering the auction items into a huge underground room in the auction house. There were rich collections here, and not far from the auction items, there was a strictly guarded area with two guards guarding the door. It looks like this is it. The treasure storage place of the auction house. Sha Hao raised the corner of his mouth, and knocked the guard unconscious with a knife at a corner. Then, based on his appearance, Sha Hao directly realized the wood escape, and soon, a person who looked exactly like the guard leader appeared in front of Sha Hao. Tap tap tap. Hey, you can. Bang. The guard created by Sha Hao's wood escape came to the door of the treasure room steadily, and at the moment when the guard asked, he raised his hand and fell with a knife, and the powerful force directly knocked the two unconscious. All this happened too quickly, and no one reacted at all. Dragon killing magic. Red flame dragon claw. Sha Hao raised his hand, and an extremely hot flame emerged from his arm. He then grabbed the solid door and melted a big hole in it. Then he opened the door, and what came into view was a mountain of wealth, a golden scene. He he, mine, mine, all mine. The treasures in the auction house are all mine. Sha Hao looked at the treasure in front of him and laughed happily. Then he waved his hand and put all the treasures into his pocket. Looking at the numbers jumping on the system panel, his smile became even bigger. Five minutes later, Sha Hao, who had just walked out of the auction house, heard the messy sound inside the auction house. He left without paying much attention. It's over, it's over, my treasures are all gone, thief, don't let me catch you. Looking at the empty treasure house, the owner of the auction house, his rough face became extremely ferocious. You should know that this auction house is not owned by him alone, and the backers behind him collect a large amount of berries every month. Now, everything is gone. At the same time, in a dark alley in the Sabayati archipelago, Rayleigh patted the wallet in his hand, showing a satisfied smile, and then stopped looking at the buyer lying on the ground. Who? After buying wine, Rayleigh turned his head and looked behind him, but found that there was no one. At this moment, Rayleigh felt a familiar breath. Mr. Rayleigh, Sassy Buladana. Sha Hao looked at the unshaven former pirate king vice captain Pluto Rayleigh, raised his arm, and greeted happily. Sha Hao. How come you are here? Underscore. Seeing the face of the visitor, Rayleigh also said happily. It has been two years since the farewell. He he, Mr. Rayleigh, I have formed my own pirate group. I said that I will definitely take my own ship to Raftal in the future, so I came. It happens that I need to come to the Sabayati archipelago to coat the Haotian in order to enter the new world. Therefore, I came to visit you, but I didn't expect to see Mr. Rayleigh's bad taste. Ahem, accident, all accident. Rayleigh glanced at Sha Hao with embarrassment, then changed the subject and walked quickly towards Sha Chi's tavern. You know, when he was in Roger's pirate group, Rayleigh appeared in the eyes of everyone as a serious, serious and powerful image. Although he also had a funny side in his heart, it was obviously rarely revealed for the development of the team. Sha Chi's Tavern. Sha Hao, do you have any plans after entering the new world? Rayleigh asked calmly, looking at the much more mature Sha Hao. Of course I have a goal. Now the new world is turbulent, and all the big pirates are occupying the land. After Captain Roger's death, the Whitebeard pirates became the strongest pirate group of this era. Now, it seems that it has become Whitebeard's world. Sha Hao began to analyze the known events. Compared with other pirate groups, the reputation of the Whitebeard pirates during this period was extremely terrifying. With the Whitebeard Newgate at the ceiling level of combat power, 
it has become a pirate group that even the world government does not want to provoke. So, after entering the New World, I plan to challenge Whitebeard Newgate, just like I sparred with Captain Roger back then, to see where the gap is. Regardless of the outcome, by then, the Haotian pirates will also become famous in this battle, so it will be easier to recruit suitable partners. After all, it is not easy to have a partner you can trust absolutely on this vast sea. Ha ha ha, it really hasn't changed at all, Sha Hao, but I remind you that Whitebeard Newgate is not Roger. If you challenge him, you must be prepared to sacrifice your life. Rayleigh thought about it and finally reminded him kindly. Sha Hao is the most talented boy he has ever met since he went to sea. His strength has changed from an ordinary person at the beginning to a pirate with a bounty of 500 million baileys. It only took two and a half years to complete the transformation. Now four years have passed, and Rayleigh can hardly imagine how strong Sha Hao is now. Therefore, Rayleigh is very relieved about Sha Hao's decision to challenge Whitebeard Newgate. Even if he cannot defeat him, Sha Hao can use his ability to avoid it. On this day, Sha Hao and Rayleigh talked for a long time, from the initial joining of Roger's pirate group to the final disbandment, from Rayleigh and Roger's first meeting to the final farewell, one thing after another appeared in the memories of the two. Five days later, on the coast of the Chibayati archipelago, the Haotian, which had completed coating, was shining in the sun and looked very beautiful. Standing on the deck of the Haotian, Sha Hao waved his arms vigorously to say goodbye to Rayleigh. Gurgle, gurgle. The Haotian began to sink. After a few minutes, the entire ship was wrapped in seawater. After looking at the direction of the record pointer, the Haotian activated the underwater stealth mode and drove towards the bottom of the sea. A day later, the Haotian passed through the underwater Fishman Island and finally arrived at the second half of the Grand Line, the New World. The Haotian, which had just emerged, was surrounded by a group of pirates. Looking at the aggressive eyes around him, Sha Tien's mouth twisted. It is indeed a chaotic new world. War will start as soon as it arrives. The enemy was in a hurry to get out of the way. Get out of here. Looking at the pirate ship approaching, Sha Hao's originally happy mood turned into a trace of anger. He opened his deep black eyes wide, and the majestic, deep, and domineering domineering aura emanated from Sha Hao. The fierce and terrifying pressure spread in a circle. In an instant, the pirates who were originally excited and full of confidence rolled their eyes and fell on the deck. Plop, plop. How is it possible, conqueror hockey? Circle dot operator oh circle dot operator. I actually provoked such a person, seeing the pirates around him almost completely destroyed, the captain of the pirate group who could barely hold on said with a trembling voice, looking towards Sha Hao with a look of fear, afraid of being wiped out directly. Such a young conqueror hockey possessor has unlimited future, and can even join the ranks of competing for the last great treasure. As for them, when they first went to sea, they were full of confidence and fought for their dreams, but after experiencing the destruction of the new world, they only dared to move in the marginal areas. Now, they are just taking advantage of the chaotic era to collect treasures. Even if possible, they would escape from the new world, return to the first half of the Grand Line to act tyrannically, and occupy a small island to become a local emperor. So they have been operating in the marginal areas, relying on robbing new pirates for a living, and often messing with people's mentality. Unfortunately, this time they met a tough guy, Sha Hao and his group. Don't kill us. All the treasures are yours, let's get out of the new world now. Underscore ka backquote close corner bracket angle underscore. Yes, yes, let's get out now. I can't die, I have an 80-year-old mother, a wife and children, please let us go. Me too. The remaining three pirate captains kept begging for mercy, looking at Sha Hao and kneeling down, without any dignity, in their eyes, staying alive is the most important thing. Get out. Quote. Looking at the group of people in front of him, Sha Hao waved his hand, they were just a group of ants. The three navy captains retreated with gratitude, intending to drive the ship away. At this moment, a terrifying wind blade slashed directly destroyed its mast, and cut off the bow of the huge pirate ship. The wind blade hit the sea, raising a wave of more than 10 meters. The three pirate captains turned their heads blankly and looked at Sha Hao and the other two in confusion. Didn't they say they would let them go? Why did they suddenly attack? 
Just a moment ago, the wind blade was only a dozen centimeters away from them. This was the closest to death. They were shocked and broke out in cold sweat on their backs. Their clothes were soaked and their legs kept shaking. Did they change their minds? People can go, but the ship stays. Axing's cold voice made the three pirate captains look bitter and they wanted to refute, but when they looked at Axing's excited eyes looking at them, they nodded decisively. Although this is a vast ocean, there is still a glimmer of hope. If you don't know what's good for you, you will die if you stay. Then, the three of them piled their men into a small lifeboat with panic, looked at Axing who didn't say anything to stop them, and rowed away quickly, disappearing from sight, using all their strength. Search the treasures and continue to go to sea. Sha Hao glanced at Ah Xing and said calmly. As a professional pirate, it is normal to rob other pirate groups of their treasures. Weakness is the original sin. On this sea, whether it is the navy, the world government, or the pirates, power is supreme. Is the world government able to rule the world for more than 800 years based on justice? Of course not, it relies on its powerful and terrifying power that can even destroy the world. It is a navy with top combat power on the sea. Justice is written by the victor. Pirates are evil. The navy and the world government are just. Only the strong are eternal justice. After solving the small trouble, the Haotian continued to move in the direction indicated by the record pointer. The whole journey was calm, the sea breeze blew gently, and everything was so quiet and peaceful. Three hours later, a loud noise attracted the attention of Sha Hao and others. On the sea, a few miles away from the Haotian, a huge pirate ship was on fire and billowing smoke. People on the ship kept running around, and seemed to be taking water to put out the fire. Boom. There was another violent explosion. The bow of the pirate ship was directly blown off, and the seawater poured in violently from the gap. After a while, the pirate ship was submerged for the most part, and a large number of pirates jumped off the pirate ship. As for the lifeboat, it had been destroyed by the attack of the first explosion. At the same time, a small wooden boat sailed over from not far from the pirate ship. Looking closely, it was a teenager, and the wooden boat was full of treasures just looted from the pirate ship. Bomb thief, you dare to steal my treasure, you are dead. Asshole, I will kill you. On the sea, the pirates with only the upper body exposed roared angrily at the wooden boat not far away, and their red eyes seemed to want to cut the boy on the wooden boat into pieces, but what greeted them was indeed a black ball. What is this? Bomb. Get out of the way. The many pirates who saw the flying objects changed their faces and cursed in their hearts, but their hands were not satisfied and swam quickly to the periphery. They had just seen the power of the bomb explosion, and no one wanted to have one. Bang, boom. The bomb was about 10 centimeters away from the sea surface. The bomb exploded with a powerful energy shock wave, and the dazzling light flashed. The surrounding sea surface was rolling with huge waves. The pirates who were originally aggressive were blown away by the waves, and then they were hit hard on the sea surface, screaming continuously. The worst was the devil fruit ability user on the pirate ship. He almost died because of the sea water. If it weren't for his loyal subordinates dragging his body, he might have sunk into the sea at this moment. Just when all the pirates looked desperate, a huge pirate ship came from a distance at a high speed, and the dark and hollow barrels fired at the direction of the small wooden boat. There was a violent blast in front of the front, and the sea surface was suddenly in chaos. The face of the young man on the wooden boat changed. He didn't expect to be ambushed. You know, he always stepped on the spot before taking action, but he didn't expect to be followed. It seems that they have been planning for a long time. Although they can't escape in this sea, they can't surrender easily. Looking at the pirate ship rushing over, the boy looked at the bomb on the small wooden boat with a determined look. Even if he died, he would drag a group of people with him. However, the other side seemed to have been prepared. They stopped the ship decisively 200 meters away from the wooden boat. The cabins on both sides were opened, and more than a dozen small wooden boats sailed out from them. There were two pirates on each wooden boat, pointing pistols at the boy. Faced with such a lineup, the boy seemed to be frightened and waited motionlessly for the surrounding pirates to approach. After being five or six meters away from them, the boy suddenly grinned and pressed a switch button in his hand. Suddenly, a harsh sound came from the wooden boat. Ding. Boom. The young man who had just exploded was in a mess. 
Looking at the boy who decisively pressed the bomb switch, the surrounding pirates had distorted faces and were extremely terrified. Who would have thought that the bomb maniac who had defeated many large and small pirate groups was not only a little devil, but also a madman who wanted to detonate the bomb at any time. This time, he was even more cruel and wanted to blow himself up. Madman, you madman, D to T, you will die if the bomb explodes. Run quickly, this guy actually wants us to be buried with him, how can we repair it? Retreat quickly. The captain of the beast pirates, who was originally full of confidence to encircle D to T, was also scared at this moment. The number of bombs seen through the telescope, once all exploded, even the main ship at the farthest distance would not be completely safe and sound. Not only that, Dedity's small wooden boat was specially modified, and the throwing device on the boat could throw up to 300 meters, and the beast pirates were not aware of all this. But vaguely, the captain of the beast pirates felt the threat of death. What a terrible guy, he actually wants to die together. Ah Xing looked at the ferocious Dedity in the distance, shrugged, and showed a surprised expression. I can bear it. Mengxin stared at the distance and spoke in a muffled voice. Tisk, I know you have thick skin and flesh, but it's better not to try it. Ah Xing was speechless when he heard Mengxin's voice. Who would measure the strength of the body to see if it can withstand the bomb attack? Even the thick-skinned giants can't be safe and sound. It can be said that thermal weapons can also play a terrifying role in this world. The power of technology has infinite possibilities. The world's strongest scientist Vegapunk can even develop a terrifying weapon that can destroy an island with one blow. Interesting guy. Sha Hao looked at DDT who was calmly waiting for the explosion, and felt that he could save a wave. He glanced at the superhuman bomb fruit in the system backpack and thought that his master might have come. Swish. Sha Hao threw a small steel egg towards DDT's wooden boat, and then the flying thunder god technique was activated instantly. The next second, Sha Hao appeared above Dedede's wooden boat. Shave. Sha Hao stepped on the air with both feet, and his figure flashed behind Dedede, then hugged him by the waist with a confused expression, and then the two disappeared on the wooden boat. The next second, a violent explosion resounded through the sky, and the entire sea surface seemed to be shaking. Within a mile radius, the shock wave generated by the explosion destroyed everything wantonly. The large and small ships of the beast pirates were completely destroyed by the terrifying shock wave at this moment. Countless wooden boards flew all over the sky, and a huge vortex appeared, like a black hole that kept absorbing everything around it, and the huge wreckage of the pirate ship was swallowed up in an instant. After a long time, a gust of sea breeze blew, and the originally tragic scene disappeared, and the sea returned to its original state again, as if nothing had happened. On the Haotian, DDT looked at Sha Hao and the other two with a vigilant look. Although they did not fight, DDT could feel that he could not defeat the three people in front of him alone. He subconsciously touched his pocket, where his last bomb was stored. Hey, 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 what's the expression on your face? The boss is your savior. Looking at DDT's vigilant expression, a Xing shouted with dissatisfaction. Tisk, who asked you to save me? Just now, it was my most perfect work of art, DDT said with a curled mouth. Huh. Art. Let go, your bomb has no effect on us, it's too weak. Sha Hao raised the corner of his mouth slightly, then sat on the chair and said in a relaxed tone. Bomb. A Xing was startled, and instantly showed the half-beast form, ready to kill DDT with one blow at any time. Art is explosion. Sha Hao suddenly had a figure in his mind, looking at DDT with a strange expression. Yellow hair, arrogant demeanor, strange attitude and yearning for explosion. Really like. The most perfect work of art. It's just a group of pirates with a bounty of just over 100 million. They can be easily destroyed. What is there to be proud of, D to T, if one day you can blow up the entire holy land of Marihoa, it can be called the most perfect art, Sha Hao looked at D to T with a proud face and said in a flat tone. Blow up the holy land of Marihoa. DDT was stunned by Sha Hao's words. That is the holy land of the celestial dragons, the seat of the world government that has controlled the world for 800 years, the world's highest power center, and every day. With a navy admiral guarding it, he actually fantasized about blowing it up. DDT thought Sha Hao was a little absurd, but he was vaguely looking forward to it. The more he thought about it, the more excited he became. Sha Hao's words seemed to open the door to a new world for DDT.
if he could really do it one day, it would definitely be the most perfect work in the world. However, he was alone, and the bomb had been researched for five or six years to have such power. How could he blow up the huge holy land of Marihoa? Thinking about it, Dedede's face darkened, but he really didn't want to give up. Isn't the most perfect art the meaning of his life? Do you know the devil fruit? Join us, I can help you achieve all this. Sha Hao looked at Dedede with a frown and said. Without financial support, manpower is ultimately limited. Even Vegapunk, the world's strongest brain, chose to join the world government for research. Therefore, DDT, who was alone, could not research a bomb that destroyed an island. Devil fruit. Yes, I have a superhuman bomb fruit here. If you eat it, you can gain unimaginable power. At that time, as long as you have a big enough imagination and are good at development and creation, blowing up an island is not a problem. Sha Hao continued to seduce DDT. Theoretically, there is no limit to the superhuman devil fruit. The strength of the ability depends entirely on the developer. DDT was tempted. He really wanted the bomb fruit. He had heard before that the cheapest devil fruit cost 100 million berries to buy. How? I agree to join the Haotian pirates. Please take care of me in the future, Captain Sha Hao. After thinking for a moment, DDT opened his sparkling big eyes and looked at Sha Hao, saying with a serious and excited face. The seriousness is that DDT has made up his mind to become a member of the Haotian pirates. He will no longer be alone in the future. He has a partner by his side. The reason for the excitement is self-evident. The superhuman bomb fruit, with it, is equivalent to completing half of the dream. Here, Sha Hao took out a strange-shaped devil fruit from his backpack and handed it to DDT. Just give it to me like this. DDT was a little unbelievable. Although he had joined the Haotian pirates, he believed in himself too much, and this was a devil fruit worth at least 100 million berries, so he didn't feel sorry at all. Ha ha ha, of course, as long as you join the Haotian pirates, we will be partners in the future. It's just a devil fruit. Sha Hao patted DDT on the shoulder and said. At this moment, DDT looked at Sha Hao and deeply engraved his figure in his mind. A man will die for his confidant, not to mention that this is his guide on the most perfect artistic path in the world. DDT was moved to tears and laughter, and he had a real sense of belonging to the Haotian pirates. The old man was very happy, but he was very happy. Hey guys, it's time to have a party. It's a tradition of pirates to have a party when a new partner joins. Roger's pirates used to do this. Hold a party when you are happy. Hold a party when a partner joins. Hold a party when you defeat the enemy and survive. Hold a party when you have a good time fighting with the pirates who are both enemies and friends. You can hold a party anytime and anywhere as long as you want. The loud pirate song resounded throughout the sea. Sha Hao and his companions laughed happily on the Haotian. Axing and Mengxian also began to introduce their dreams. A simple banquet quickly deepened the feelings of the entire Haotian pirates. Then, after drinking a bowl of wine, Axing and Dita T, two rookies, instantly became ruddy like monkey butts. Then they fell on the deck in a daze, and soon there was a loud snoring. You are really rookie and love to play. Sha Hao shook his head and said speechlessly. He he, you are really rookie, Mengxian scratched the back of his head, picked up a barrel of wine and drank it in big gulps, as if drinking water. You don't have to do this, Sha Hao felt helpless when he saw Mengxian drinking fiercely in front of him. Five days later, the Haotian stopped at the coast of Moses Island in the New World, intending to replenish food and water. But, unexpectedly, there were no civilians on the island, all of them were pirates. Because Mengxian was guarding the ship, only Sha Hao and three others landed on the island to purchase, but they didn't expect to be targeted by this group of pirates. Just three people, not afraid at all. So, the war was about to break out. Sha Hao and a Xing took more than ten minutes to make all the pirates on the island lie on the ground honestly. Looking at Sha Hao and a Xing who easily defeated more than three hundred pirates, DDT secretly vowed to become stronger and not to drag his feet. Hey! I can't finish it, I can't finish it at all. A Xing looked at the warehouse in front of him that stored the pirates' food for the entire island, smiled and shook his head, and the corners of his mouth unconsciously rose wildly. Move it away. Sha Hao began to instruct A Xing and Dita T to move the food, and by the way, take away all the treasures that the pirates had robbed on the island. 
After the system calculated, the value was a full 150 million berries. Sha Hao, Tisk, what a bunch of poor fools. Looking at Ah Xing and DDT walking in front of him talking and laughing, Sha Hao waved his hand and put all the food in the warehouse into the system backpack. Looking at the food that was enough for a thousand people to eat for a year, Sha Hao felt inexplicably at ease. With food in hand, he was not in a hurry. On the Haotian, Ah Xing was very excited to see the treasure and food in front of him. This was the first time he got food so easily, as if he had opened the door to a new world. Boss, I heard that these pirates said that they are all affiliated pirates called the Devil Pirates. They have nearly 100 nautical miles of territory, occupying five islands, and this group of pirates is the weakest island. As for the leader of the Devil Pirates, it seems that the bounty is 456.8 million berries. It is also very famous in this sea area, and almost no one dares to mess with it. Ah Xing said with a smile on his face. Seeing Ah Zing's eyes rolling around, Sha Hao knew what he wanted to do. Let's go, fire the first shot of our new world. In the name of the Haotian pirates, Sha Hao looked at the endless sea in front of him and said in a very serious tone. Now he also has his own pirate group, and it's time to show his face in front of the whole world. He used to be an intern in Rogers Pirates, and now it's natural for the world to get to know him again as the captain of the Haotian pirates. Hee hee, great. Ah Xing jumped happily. Well, I also want to try the power of the new bomb I just studied, Didati took out a handful of small balls from his arms, and a hint of excitement appeared in his black eyes. I have no problem. Mengxin smiled innocently. Ever since Sha Hao taught him to practice hockey and the six styles of the navy, Mengxin has been practicing every moment. He can now beat up three of his former selves. Clenching his powerful fist, Mengxin was confident that he could destroy a small hill with one punch. Moreover, Mengxin heard from Sha Hao about a new method of identifying a strong man, using a human body to stop a warship with one hand. Mengxin has been eager to try, but he has never had the chance. He doesn't know if he can try this time to defeat the Devil Pirates. With a goal, the Haotian decisively rushed to the next island and took the Haotian. After the ship docked, Ah Xing led Meng Shan and Didati to the center of the island, pushing forward all the way, and no one could match them. Twenty minutes later, with the earth-shaking explosion in the center of the island, the pirate group on this island was completely eliminated, and then Meng Shan dragged a huge raft alone, which was piled with treasures and food, and walked from the center of the island to the Haotian. Looking at Meng Shan who was becoming more and more like a beast, Ah Xing sometimes felt that the endurance of his animal-type devil fruit seemed to be just so-so. Looking at the increasing amount of treasure in the cabin, Sha Hao and others laughed happily. It felt so good to have money. He he he, the next island. Ah Xing stretched out his tongue and licked the corner of his mouth, looking like a big villain. Three hours later, the Haotian arrived at the third island, and after another 30 minutes, all the pirates on the island were wiped out. Four hours later, the Haotian reached the fourth island. This time, it took an hour to wipe out all the pirates on the island. This time, the power of the bomb made by DDT was upgraded to a higher level. Within a kilometer radius, no grass grew. The violent bomb explosion shock wave spread in a circle recklessly. Everything around was hit by the air wave. The trees bent down, and large and small stones flew around like bullets. The last island. Ah Xing looked at the huge island in the distance and said excitedly. Be careful. In the new world, the bounty of more than 400 million berries is definitely outstanding. It is possible to use domineering or devil fruit abilities well. Sha Hao glanced at Ah Xing and the other two and reminded them. Hee hee, don't worry, boss. We will definitely win, Ah Xing replied confidently, and Mengxin and DDT beside him also nodded seriously. The bounty is so high, it's just right to test my current strength. I have studied a new type of air bomb, and I just plan to let the devil pirates be the test subjects. Didati raised his hand slightly, and a small air bubble appeared in his hand. Indistinctly, he felt a strong unstable energy rushing through it. In that case, let's go. Sha Hao waved his hand, and a Xing and the other two immediately walked towards the center of the island. Sha Hao walked slowly behind the three people to protect them. The enemy was in a hurry to get out of the way. Stop, who are you? What are you doing? Hey, hey, you're just attacking me, don't you know this is the devil pirate's territory? 
Our captain is a pirate with a bounty of more than 450 million. Lord Devil Stassen. Stop. Yamalu. Go and inform Lord Stassen that there is a pirate invasion. Is this a giant? Why are the giants here? Quote. Even if there are giants, so what? They don't look like adults yet, and there are only three of them. We have more than 200 people here, and the advantage is mine. Kill them, shoot, shoot, shoot. Bang, bang, bang. Looking at the three people of Axing who attacked directly, the faces of the devil pirates changed drastically, especially under the punch of Mengshin, which was as big as a millstone. More than a dozen people were killed in an instant, and the captain of the devil pirates was so scared that he ordered his younger brother to ask for help. The gunshots continued to ring, and they were quickly fired in the direction of Axing and the three people. Yes, it had no effect at all under the domineering of observation, and no bullets hit. Air propelled bullets. Didati raised his arm slightly, and a transparent sphere quickly rotated and compressed in the palm of his hand, and the surrounding air was sucked into it crazily. A strange energy enveloped it, and then the sphere emitted a heart-pounding energy. Even Axing and Mengshin subconsciously walked a few steps to the sides, fearing that they would be affected. Although they are partners now, even Ah Xing was a little frightened by Dedede's ruthlessness and madness in wanting to die with the enemy. He is a complete madman in the art of bombing. Swoosh. Dedede pushed gently, and the transparent ball slowly floated forward, and then came to the crowd without the devil pirates paying any attention, and then exploded with a bang. The violent, fierce and powerful explosion even trembled the void. Ah Xing, who was closest, even heard the sound of space breaking. A terrifying shock wave broke out from the devil pirates, and a dazzling white light bloomed from the crowd. At this moment, all the devil pirates crew members seemed to see their grandmother waving. A deep pit with a depth of 50 to 60 meters and a diameter of more than 500 meters appeared where the devil pirates were standing. The surrounding cracks were like spider webs and stretched for hundreds of meters. The aftermath of the bomb explosion caused huge waves in the sea to continuously wash the coast. At this moment, all the animals on the island were silent, and the birds that were originally chirping seemed to have their mouths shut. D to T, next time you use your ability, tell me the range in advance. You almost got me involved, a Xing said angrily, looking at D to T, who had a calm and thoughtful expression. Ah, uh, I know, it's okay, I know, and I didn't use my full strength. D to T turned his head to look at a Xing and answered seriously. Didn't use my full strength. A Xing looked at the big pit in front of him and broke out in a cold sweat. If he used his full strength, how powerful would it be? Well, I only used a quarter of my strength. Didati touched his chin and evaluated the explosion just now. Hey, I didn't use my full strength in the explosion art, so I can only give it a six this time. Didati shrugged, as if he was very dissatisfied with the explosion. He was unhappy that the artistic creation did not go all out. He he. He he. Just as Axing and the other two were chatting, close footsteps sounded in the distance. Looking up, smoke and dust were rolling. Nearly five or six hundred pirates were rushing towards the coast with great momentum. The leader was a burly middle-aged man with a mace in his hand and a rather wretched appearance. Little devil, it's you who are here to challenge me. The devil Stassen looked down at the deep pit on the ground, and the hot breath coming out of it hit him in the face. Although he was surprised, Stassen was not afraid because physical damage had no effect on him. Challenge. Ha ha, who do you think you are, you clown? We are here to collect your treasure. Hand over your treasure and I will spare your life. Ah Xing said in an unhappy and arrogant tone, looking at Stassen, who was more than three meters tall. You little brat who talks so much. You just came to this sea and don't know how high the sky is. Now I will let you see the horror of the New World Pirates. The devil Stassen's face darkened, and he swung the mace in his hand quickly, and a whirlwind spun around him rapidly. Then, the tall figure flashed and quickly rushed towards. He ran towards Ah Xing, the mace in his hand flashed with cold light, and smashed it heavily on Ah Zing's head. Ghostly smash. The devil Stassen exuded a strange light, quickly covering the entire mace, and a cold whistle sounded. Following the Devil Stassen, all members of the Devil Pirates also began to besiege Monson and Dita T. Leading the attack were the vice captains of the Devil Pirates, the Flying Mantis Simori with a bounty of 230 million berries, and the Flying Mantis Simori with a bounty of 150 million berries. Buddhas, a cadre in the village. 
arm. Facing the attack of the devil Stassen, Ah Xing felt a little danger, but he didn't know the source of the danger, so Ah Xing covered his whole body with armed color domineering, protecting himself without dead angles, and then raised his arm and attacked the mace in front of him. The arm wrapped in armed color domineering collided with the mace and made a crisp sound of golden swords, sparks flew, and at the same time, the strange energy in the mace also wanted to flow into Ah Zing's body, but everything was blocked by domineering. How is it possible? Stassen's face changed drastically. The devil fruit ability that had been invincible in the past was actually invalid. Stassen vaguely thought of a possibility that he was unwilling to admit. Domineering. This young man who had just entered the new world learned domineering. Wind blade killing. Looking at Stassen whose face changed drastically, Ah Xing felt that he had guessed right. A slender wind blade directly bombarded Stassen, blood gushed out of his chest, flesh and blood flew, and the severe pain made Stassen's face twisted. Speed. Wind God Cannon. Strike while the iron is hot, Axing took a deep breath, and the surrounding air was sucked in by Axing's storm. The mouth that was originally underestimated quickly swelled up. Looking at Axing who had become an animal-type devil fruit ability user, Stassen also reacted. This group of people must have come prepared, otherwise it would be impossible to destroy his brother so quickly and find the base camp quickly. The more he thought about it, the more helpless he became. Looking at the wind god cannon that was growing rapidly in his eyes, Stassen's face was full of fear and despair. Such a large-scale attack is impossible to avoid. How can I repair it? I am not willing. Stassen let out an angry roar at the moment he was hit by the wind god cannon. At the same time, the rest of the members of the devil pirates were all subdued by Monshan and Dita T, and fell to the ground with their legs spread out, screaming continuously. The worst were the vice captain of the devil pirates, Simori, and the Kadri Buddhas. Under Didati's 90% power, not even a slag was left. Three days later, the news that the Clear Sky Pirates defeated the Devil Pirates spread throughout the New World. For the first time, Axing and the other two were exposed to the eyes of the world. Moreover, they destroyed the Devil Pirates led by the Devil Stassen, who had more than 400 million berries. This also made many people pay attention to the Clear Sky Pirates. For all this, the world government put a bounty on all members of the Clear Sky Pirates. The two sides of the river are in chaos, and the two sides are in chaos. At the Navy headquarters, Marinford, a group of high-ranking naval officers were in a meeting, and the incident of the Haotian pirates destroying the Devil Pirates was also brought to the table. The Haotian pirates have just entered the New World and have caused such a big incident. They are really worthy of being interns on the Roger Pirates. They are naturally restless evil kids. The pirate devil Stassen, who had a bounty of more than 450 million berries, ended up like this. It seems that we really need to pay attention to the Haotian pirates. I heard that Sha Hao hasn't made a move yet. I think the Haotian pirates have also gathered a group of terrifying guys. Marshal Sengoku, what is the opinion of the world government? In the meeting room of the Navy headquarters, many Navy officers were discussing, Almost all of them expressed their attention to the Haotian pirates and their serious attitude towards Sha Hao. Not only does Sha Hao have strong combat power and terrifying growth potential, but also because Sha Hao is a member of the former pirate King Roger's pirates, it is of great significance. The world government has decided to put a bounty on all members of the Haotian pirates. Captain Sha Hao's bounty has been increased to 600 million berries. The combatant is suspected to be an ancient animal-type devil fruit ability user, Axing, with a bounty of 160 million berries. The combatant Mengshin, who has the blood of the giants, has a bounty of 110 million berries. DDT has a strong bomb-making ability and is suspected to be a superhuman bomb fruit ability user. The bounty is 80 million berries, tut tut tut. Sengoku began to let the adjutant beside him start reading the content of the document. As for why the bounty is so high, it is because Axing and the other two defeated the high bounty devil pirates when they debuted and completely destroyed them. It's really terrifying. A pirate group of only four people has a bounty of nearly one billion berries. A rear admiral sighed in a dull voice. Hey, I hope I won't become the next Roger. Okay, quiet, let's put aside the matter of the Haotian pirates. Now the more difficult thing is that a team called the Revolutionary Army has appeared out of thin air, 
and is spreading ideas around the world under the slogan of overthrowing the celestial dragons. There have been abnormal rebellions in two countries. The world government and the five elders are very angry about this matter. They ordered the navy to arrest all of them and publicly execute the mastermind. What do you think of the action? Revolutionary army. Who is the mastermind? Do you have any information? It's really a troubled time. Now a large number of pirates have poured into the sea, which has put the navy's combat power under pressure. Now there is another revolutionary army that is bewitching people. Marshal Sengoku, are you going to expand the navy? Humph, whether it's pirates or the revolutionary army, just destroy them all. They are just a bunch of sea garbage. Sakaski, who had not spoken all the time, said expressionlessly at this moment, in a cold and serious tone. Then, Sakaski will lead two warships to this kingdom to take a look. After all, as a member of the world government, the navy has the obligation to protect them and not to commit violence unless necessary, Sengoku looked around and finally landed on Sakaski, and ordered. By the way, where is Vice Admiral Suru? It's better to ask her opinion on this matter. Why didn't I see it? Marshal Sengoku, Vice Admiral Suru should have led the team to hunt down the Tenyusha Doflamingo family, a Navy general reported the information he knew. Doflamingo. He's also a big trouble. Yeah, I know. Let's adjourn, Sengoku stroked his forehead and sighed deeply. One or two of them would not leave peacefully. In the New World, somewhere in the sea, on the Moby Dick, the newspaper that the Haotian pirates were rewarded by all members was also received by the Whitebeard pirates. Gulala, that monster kid has now formed his own pirate group and entered the New World. Whitebeard Newgate laughed out loud as he looked at the bounty for all members of the Haotian pirates. Speaking of the origin of the two, in addition to the fact that Shaw Hao showed super strength in the initial battle between the Roger Pirates and the Whitebeard Pirates, which caught Whitebeard's attention, he secretly informed the Whitebeard Pirates of the rebellion in Wano country and the news of Kazuki Odin's encounter, which was the major reason why Whitebeard Newgate thanked Shaw Hao. After all, the word family is extremely important to Whitebeard Newgate, and no one can take his family away. Dad. You look very happy, but I heard that this kid threatened to challenge you. Marco said as he looked at the laughing Whitebeard Newgate. Challenge me. Underscore. Well, after all, the outside world said that the sea is now after Roger's death. Daddy's era. Marco said with a smile. The strength of the Whitebeard pirates all stems from Whitebeard Newgate. You know, the strongest man in the world is recognized. Gulala, this kid is still so arrogant. I am Whitebeard. Let him come. Let me see how much Shaw Hao has grown in the past few years. Whitebeard Newgate took a big sip of wine, then narrowed his eyes and recalled the domineering and terrifying domineering aura released by Shaw Hao when he fought against Roger's pirate group. It was exactly the same as Roger's. Thinking about it, Whitebeard Newgate turned his head to look at Marco and others, shook his head, and in terms of the fighting power of young people, even Whitebeard had to admit that Roger's pirate group was stronger. From the devil's descendant Barrett, to Shaw Howe and the red-haired kid, their terrifying potential made Whitebeard terrified, but Roger was dead, and he, Whitebeard Newgate, was still there, so the Whitebeard pirates did not need strong young fighting power. However, Whitebeard Newgate inexplicably felt a trace of sadness in his heart. Guys as strong as Roger were taken away by illness, so what about him? Fighting all his life, fighting in countless battles, big and small, and being injured I can't remember the harm clearly, plus the sequelae of excessive use of the tremor tremor fruit, can I really protect the Whitebeard pirates forever? Perhaps the appearance of Shaw Howe made Whitebeard Newgate think, so Whitebeard Newgate made up his mind to strengthen the training of his sons in the future, at least to be able to protect himself in the face of powerful combat power. Marco didn't know yet, because Shaw Howe's high bounty doubled his future training. Most of the time, pirates improve their strength through fighting, and rarely take the initiative to exercise, especially under the protection of Whitebeard Newgate, there is no pirate group to provoke them. Naturally, with long-term stability, combat effectiveness will also decrease a lot. In the first half of the Grand Line, in a small town somewhere in the East China Sea, a man in a red-nosed pirate costume looked at the bounty order in his hand and smiled excitedly. Ha ha ha, you are worthy of it, Sha Hao. Wait for me, I will go to the new world again. Quote. 
In a tavern on a beautiful island in the West Sea, a red-haired young man also held a newspaper and a bounty order in his hand. Sha Hao, you are still one step ahead, but now is not the time for me to go out to sea again. The old man was in a hurry to get out of the house. Somewhere in the Grand Line, above the sky, on Bermeu Island, a man with a rudder on his head also took a copy of the latest world government newspaper and the latest bounty order from his subordinates. Yes, this man is the legendary pirate Shiki the Golden Lion who escaped from Impel Down, who is known as Roger and Whitebeard Newgate. Since escaping from Impel Down, Shiki the Golden Lion accidentally came to this island and found a special plant containing, IQ, ingredients on it. After some animals ate it, they became violent and became extremely powerful. Therefore, Shiki the Golden Lion began to lurk, and a 20-year-long revenge war began. Ha ha ha, Haotian pirates. Roger's intern actually made a scene as soon as he entered the new world. What an unstable guy. Looking back, Sha Hao, this kid, caused me a lot of trouble at the beginning. Shiki the Golden Lion narrowed his eyes, and a dangerous light flashed in his deep eyes. During the Battle of Etwal, Sha Hao's young, powerful, and arrogant attitude made Shaki the Golden Lion unforgettable, especially the moment when the domineering color domineering burst out, like a giant beast from the abyss. Tisk, wait for me for some time, I will let them see the horror of real pirates, Dr. Indigo, speed up the research, I can't wait to go to sea. The golden hair of the Golden Lion flew wantonly, and while the ability of the floating fruit was released, several islands in the air shook together, and the animals on the islands immediately fled everywhere. It happened to pass by the territory of other beasts, and it was another life and death duel. In the New World, on the Haotian, Sha Hao had no idea about the attitudes of the major forces in the world. He was lying on the deck chair leisurely, enjoying the sea breeze and drinking cold drinks. He had used up all the things he had won in the lottery. Tongzi, open the store and let me see what good things there are. Sha Hao thought silently in his heart, and the system store page appeared in his mind. The devil fruits were all animal devil fruits, and there was nothing that Sha Hao urgently needed in the props category. Finally, Sha Hao set his sights on the skill category. Speed. Boy, do you want to become light? Buy it and you will have a speed beyond light. Turtle breath. Even in the deep sea, you can sleep and play happily without worrying about breathing problems. Father of ships, as the father of all ships, you can shout and make a ship in front of you stop sailing unconditionally and stay where it is. Sha Hao looked at the three skills on the panel, thought for a moment, and then bought them all. The three skills only cost 600 million berries. Looking at his balance of more than 1 billion berries, Sha Hao waved his hand and took them all. The world of adults is so simple. After the skill exchange, Sha Hao slowly stood up, stretched his waist, looked at the island not far away, and used his ability to be extremely fast. In a blink of an eye, Sha Hao's figure disappeared, and he appeared again above the island. Looking at the fist-sized Haotian in the distance, Sha Hao's mouth corners slightly raised. It is worthy of being a system product, and the speed is too fast. I don't know if I have the chance to meet Borsellino. Who is faster between the two of them, surpassing the speed of light, is really looking forward to it more and more. After the extreme speed skill experiment, Sha Hao plunged into the sea, breathing in the air, and there was no unstable breath or breathlessness at all. At this moment, Sha Hao was like a deep sea turtle, living freely in the sea. Since we are here, we can't go back empty-handed. Sha Hao looked at the plump fish in the deep sea, and drooled with emotion. It's you. Sha Hao locked onto a huge deep sea fish that was comparable to the size of a sea king. A red light flashed in the depths of his eyes, and then the whole person turned into a stream of light and appeared behind it. The armed color domineering quickly wrapped around the Fang Tian Hua Ji, and then stabbed it hard. The powerful force plus the severe pain made the sea king fall into a frenzy. Blood kept gushing out from the back, and the huge body began to roll in the deep sea. The sea water flowed faster and faster, and soon formed a huge deep sea vortex, which then expanded rapidly. On the sea, the Haotian was slowly sailing towards here. From a distance, a huge vortex appeared on the sea surface, constantly absorbing and swallowing everything around it. Suddenly, a dull and huge sound sounded, and the red blood next to the vortex painted the sea surface. As bubbles continued to emerge from the sea water, a large sea king of tens of meters floated out of the sea. 
Swoosh. A slender figure flew out of the sea. He jumped out and landed on the deck of Haotian. The speed was so fast that Ah Xing and the other two could not react for a while, even with his observation hockey. Huh. Boss, when did you go out? Underscore. Ah Xing looked at Sha Hao with a confused face and asked. Just now. Ha, huh, is it true? Why didn't I sense it? Maybe your observation hockey is not practiced well enough. Hurry up and cook this fish, Sha Hao glanced at Ah Xing and urged. Oh you underscore you, Ah Xing walked towards the kitchen with a depressed face and started to prepare. Who made him the only man on the ship who could cook and eat? It seems that it's time to find a chef who can cook delicious food, Sha Hao touched his chin and thought seriously. After all, Ah Zing's cooking is just not enough to kill people, and it will never work in the long run. As a person who likes food, how can he not have requirements for food? But where should I look for them? I remember Mr. Rayleigh once said that on a small island in the New World, there live the most famous chefs in the world. Even the celestial dragons in the holy land of Mary Geois praised their cuisine. Kings of various countries would invite some chefs to their birthday parties. Maybe I can go and have a look. It would be best if I could find a chef who can go out to sea with me. Sha Hao recalled the conversation he had with Rayleigh, and had a general idea of the choice of chef. In the New World, on an island full of gunpowder smoke, this was originally the capital of a kingdom, but now it is full of gunfire. The originally magnificent buildings have now become a ruin. In the center of the island, a group of people in black robes are rushing towards the palace in the core area of the island. A bunch of low-class people, kill me if you have the guts. The world government will not let you go, you will all die, what revolutionary army, but a bunch of reptiles. The righteous world government is the strongest. In the castle of the half-abandoned kingdom capital, a middle-aged man with golden hair is angrily cursing at the lowly civilians in front of him who he once looked down upon. Ha ha ha, the world government. Sooner or later, their dark rule will be completely overthrown. The people of the world will finally usher in a new life and freedom. A bright light floated past, and the calm face of the revolutionary army leader Drago appeared in front of everyone, and then the residents who were reborn around began to cheer. The old man was in a mess, and the old man was in a mess. In the holy land of Marihoa, in a magnificent and solemn palace in Pangu City, the five elders, who are the highest powers of the world government, are making a call, and a tragic cry for help comes from the Den Den Mushi. Help, help, help me, I don't want to die yet. Let go, you rubbish. No, don't, don't touch me, I'm the king of this kingdom. Let me go, I can give you everything you want. Bang. A gunshot was heard, and the noisy sound from the other end of the Den Den Mushi finally ended. The person who was shouting just now was brutally killed by the pirates who occupied the capital. Hee <laughs> hee, just a bunch of idiots, I didn't expect such a person to become the king. Hey guys, take all the treasures away quickly, the navy will be here soon. What a shitty member of the world government, if you have this idea, you might as well give the treasures to me. The unscrupulous discussion made the faces of the five elders in Pangu City suddenly gloomy. They didn't expect that a mere pirate group would dare to challenge the authority of the world government. They really don't know how to live or die. Inform Zongguo about this matter. All these garbage pirates must be caught within seven days, otherwise, there is no need for him to be the navy marshal. Well, the world must maintain stability, and anyone who challenges the world government must be completely eliminated. CP0 should also intervene. There can be no possibility of failure in this operation. It's really a troubled time. Can't we be quieter? A few days ago, a coup took place in a country in the East China Sea. According to intelligence, there is a shadow of the revolutionary army. It is said that this force has not yet been found out who is in charge. In the short few years since its establishment, it has brought a lot of trouble to the world government. It is far more dangerous than those simple-minded and well-developed pirate groups. The world does not need this kind of thinking. The celestial dragons and the world government are the masters of this world. The five elders discussed the major events that have happened in the world recently with gloomy faces. Each one made them very angry. Since Roger opened the great pirate era before his death, it seems to have caused a lot of chain reactions. The D family should not live in this world. In the new world, the Haotian is sailing fast on the sea according to the direction of the record pointer. 
Because the Haotian pirates are in urgent need of chefs, Sha Hao plans to go to the holy land of chefs, Hankrila Island, to invite a chef to accompany the ship. I thought everything would go smoothly, but in the chaotic sea of the new world, anything could happen in the next second. Seeing the beasts running around on the island not far away, and the birds in the woods were afraid to land, Sha Hao knew that there must be something terrifying on the island that scared the animals. However, because the record pointer needed magnetism, the Haotian had to dock. Boss, there seems to be something incredible on the island. A Xing frowned and said. The breath of a real beast, hum. Mengxin clenched his fists, his eyes full of fighting spirit, challenging stronger creatures as his way to fulfill his dream. Boss, do you want me to place a bomb first? Dedity looked at the roaring and smoke-filled position on the island, and looked eager to try. It seems that a group of fighting madmen have been found. Sha Hao shrugged helplessly, hoping that the next crew member would be a little quieter. No need, pull the boat up, we'll go down and see for ourselves. Sha Hao waved his hand. There are people stronger than Sha Hao on this sea now, but not many. As his body's fusion with wood style increases, Sha Hao's strength also grows rapidly. Coupled with the long-term use of the eight gates, it can be said that Sha Hao is not afraid of anyone in this sea. It's just that the fusion of wood style is getting slower and slower. Looking at the 85% fusion on the panel, Sha Hao is a little helpless. If it is fused to 90%, then this sea can say, I am the biggest in the world. I am not afraid of God's coming. Just when the Haotian was approaching the island, a group of people dressed as pirates on the coast also noticed the approach of the Haotian pirates. However, looking at the few people on the bow of the Haotian, they all showed cruel smiles. However, only a tall and sturdy red-haired young man frowned, as if he felt that things were not so simple. The man's name is Katakori, Charlotte Linlins. Second son, then naturally, the pirate group on this island is the BIGMOM Pirates, one of the most powerful pirate groups in the world today. The captain, Charlotte Linlin, is also BIGMOM. She was once a member of the Rocks Pirates, the overlord of the old pirates. She was once on the same ship with Whitebeard Newgate, Golden Lion Shiki, and the future, Hundred Grants, Kaido. Not to mention the combat power, she has the powerful strength of the giants since she was a child, and has a skin like steel, which ordinary people can't break. Be careful, this group of people may not be ordinary pirates. Katakori reminded, because the skull flag on the Haotian was very familiar to him, and he seemed to have seen it somewhere before. Underscore. Not ordinary pirates. Are our BIGMOM pirates ordinary pirates? Perospero, the eldest brother on the side, curled his lips in disdain. Possessing the powerful and terrifying combat power of BIGMOM is their biggest capital to establish a foothold in the new world. I know, this is that pirate group. Brother Katakori is the former Roger Pirates trainee who sneaked into the castle many years ago to steal the historical text, Sha Hao. A member of the Charlotte family gnashed his teeth and shouted loudly, holding a bounty order with Sha Hao's head tightly in his hand. In that battle, she was slashed away by Sha Hao before she could exert her strength, and several of her front teeth fell out, causing her to drink the most hated milk for half a month. It's him. Hearing his sister's words, Katakori immediately became fully focused. In an instant, a terrifying aura like a beast burst out, and his observation hockey was activated. He stared at the Haotian, ready to attack at any time. Because that battle was the biggest shame since his debut, letting a guy younger than himself leave safely. Even Katakori was injured. Be careful, this guy is not an ordinary person, he also has conqueror hockey. Katakori looked at his brothers and sisters around him and warned them. This time, if mom hadn't suddenly gone crazy because she couldn't eat the food she wanted, the BOGMOM pirates wouldn't have gone out to sea. Conqueror Hockey. The BIGMOM pirates were shocked. You know, this kind of talent is possible only in one million people, and everyone has the qualifications to become a king. Here we are, Katakori said solemnly, looking at the approaching Haotian. Hey, Sasabuladana, Katakori. As the Haotian slowly approached the island, Sha Hao also saw who it was, raised his mouth slightly, and raised his hand to say hello. HMPH. Everyone, we are just passing by here to store some magnetism, don't look like you are eating people. Eat people. 
Sha Hao, kid, have you forgotten that you stole our historical text? This is an unforgivable vengeance. Perospero looked at the four people on the Haotian, and suddenly became bolder. After all, they had six cadres and two hundred crew members who were tracking Mama out to sea, plus Katakori, the strongest combat force of their Charlotte family besides Mama, Perospero didn't know how he could lose. So, the revenge for stealing the historical text must be avenged. Tisk, boss, why waste time talking to them, just kill them. Ah Xing instantly turned on the half-beast form, his momentum soared into the sky, and he was ready for battle. On the side, Mengxin also put on gloves, and DDT was also ready to make special bombs, and both sides were full of gunpowder. Defeat them. Pero Sparrow's eyes flashed with a hint of ruthlessness, and he raised the candy wand. The members of the BIGMOM pirates behind him raised their pistols and began to design. The dense bullets shot at Sha Hao and his men like a drizzle. Wooden ingot wall. Sha Hao waved his hand, and the coast in front of the Haotian shook. A tall wooden wall grew rapidly on the ground, blocking all the attacking bullets. The sound of ping pong continued. Sure enough, ordinary bullets have no effect at all. Pero Sparrow looked at the unharmed Haotian and muttered to himself. DDT, it's impolite not to return the favor, give them a big gift. Sha Hao turned his head and looked at DDT, saying in a deep voice. Hee hee, I've been waiting for you, boss. Upon hearing this, DDT released a gleam of black light, and a small black ball made of steel in his hand was thrown out quickly by DDT, flying towards the direction of the BIGMOM pirates, so fast that people could only see a black afterimage. Be careful, retreat quickly. Katakori, who had a strong sense of observation, had a strong bad premonition in his heart, and shouted loudly, but it was still a step too late, and many ordinary pirates could not react in time. Boom boom, bang. The small black ball exploded in the air above the BIGMOM pirates. In an instant, violent energy exploded from the iron ball. Everyone saw a dazzling light flashing in the sky, and then a huge shock wave began to hit everything around. The originally flat ground cracked inch by inch, and the sky and earth were dark with flying sand and rocks. He actually used a cannon to bomb me. Be careful, it's coming again, get out of the way. Chi Kesho, could this guy be a devil fruit user? Let's go together, there are only four of them, we have the advantage, don't give him the opportunity to continue dropping bombs. Pero Sparrow shouted loudly, waving the candy wand and began to command. When his brothers and sisters were all there, as the think tank of the BIGMOM pirates, Pero Sparrow basically didn't fight. Tisk, there's no way if you don't drop bombs. You underestimate us too much. Ah Xing looked at the BIGMOM pirates who were waiting in front of him, his legs sank slightly, then jumped high, flapped his wings, and rushed straight and fast towards the BIGMOM pirates. Wind extreme. Destruction. One after another, terrifying long wind blades rushed in front of the BIGMOM pirates. The violent energy seemed to want to destroy everything. Looking at the close attack, Katakori stepped forward swung the weapon in his hand vigorously, and also released a slash. Boom. A violent explosion sounded, and the powerful energy impact almost made axing in midair fall. The air wave rolled, and Katakori's figure flashed and passed directly from axing's side. His target was Sha Hao, who looked calm on the Haotian. This guy has no martial ethics and actually wants to sneak attack the boss, axing said with a depressed face. Sha Hao, I will definitely defeat you this time. Looking at Sha Hao, who was less than 10 meters away from him, Katakori said seriously, and stabbed the weapon in his hand straight down. When? Don't I exist? How could I let you disturb my boss in the first place? Mountain splitting fist. Monson used one of the six styles of the navy, shave, and his huge figure blocked the position between the two people, and then swung his strong and powerful fist. Looking at the fist wrapped in armed color domineering, Katakori also became serious. Boss, I'm on it too. DDT said, looking at Axing and Monson who had already joined the melee on the scene. Go, be careful, this is the BIGMOM pirates, don't be impulsive. The war was about to break out, and Axing and the other two fought against the cadres of the BIGMOM pirates respectively. The surging fighting spirit was soaring into the sky, and the two groups soon fought together. 
Just when everyone was planning to fight for a few days and nights, a shaking sound came from the center of the island. Looking up, it was B-I-G-M-O-M. Every step he took, the earth was shaking. At this moment, after destroying an island, B-I-G-M-O-M's original violent symptoms were improved, and his scarlet eyes gradually regained consciousness. Perospero, where is this place? B-I-G-M-O-M, who was slowly regaining consciousness, asked in a muffled voice. Mom, this is. Two and a half minutes later, B-I-G-M-O-M finally understood the whole story, and also knew clearly who the pirate group in front of her was, the little devil on Roger's ship many years ago, a thief who stole. Mom, Mom, Sha Hao, you dare to appear in front of me again, it seems that I have to teach you some unforgettable lessons. B-I-G-M-O-M looked at Sha Hao on the Haotian, his voice became cold, and his tall and strong body rushed over like a tank. Zeus. Hi, Mom. With a shout, thunderclouds flashed above the sky, and in an instant thunderclouds appeared under B-I-G-M-O-M's feet, and then B-I-G-M-O-M flew up, appeared in front of Sha Hao in the blink of an eye, and looked down at him. Ask in a cold tone, life or death? B-I-G-M-O-M, this thing is useless to me. Sha Hao curled his lips, his whole body was full of vigor and domineering pressure emanating from his body, and he rushed straight towards B-I-G-M-O-M. Regarding the soul-searching question, Sha Hao looked calm and not afraid at all. The old man was so angry that he was not happy. You deserve to die. B-I-G-M-O-M gritted his teeth at Sha Hao, who was not affected at all. Sha Hao in front of him did not have any fear of him, which made the special power of the soul soul fruit impossible to use. B-I-G-M-O-M found it hard to accept this. Napoleon. Here, Mom. Prometheus. Mom. B-I-G-M-O-M shouted, and the hat on his head suddenly turned into a sword. The flame cloud homies floating not far away turned into flames attached to the blade. In an instant, a big knife filled with hot flames was grabbed by B-I-G-M-O-M, and his eyes as big as copper bells flashed with cold light that chose people to eat. Go to hell, kid. Blade mother flame. B-I-G-M-O-M's powerful arm swung the knife in his hand and chopped it down fiercely. The slash covered with flames came in an instant. Looking at the flames that were about to envelop him, Sha Hao's mouth corners slightly raised, revealing a faint smile. Flames. Can they really burn people to death? In this era where even dogs don't eat the flame flame fruit, releasing attacking flames is just an ordinary means. Feeling the surrounding temperature rising, Sha Hao muttered to himself. Dragon killing magic. Flame dragon's stomach. Sha Hao looked at the flames attacking in front of him exhaled deeply, and then inhaled violently, swallowing up all the surrounding flames without a trace left. Is this true? Just now, all the flames released by mom were swallowed up. Impossible, absolutely impossible, how can a human absorb flames? What happened? Isn't Sha Hao's ability to control plants? Kid, what kind of person is he? Huh. Swallowed the flames, Sha Hao kid. You are really good, B-I-G-M-O-M looked at Sha Hao who ate all the flames, and was also surprised. This was a situation she had never encountered in her life. In the same way, both sides would either defend against the attack or dodge with all their strength, and occasionally use their bodies to resist it. But absorbing the attack energy has never happened before. Really. It's just a routine operation. Sha Hao said calmly without caring. The Fang Tian Hua Ji in his hands spun quickly, and Sha Hao's whole aura burst out. The domineering aura quickly wrapped around the Fang Tian Hua Ji. The black and red lightning made the void explode, and the crackling sound continued. At this moment, Sha Hao's whole person seemed like a peerless beast. The domineering and terrifying aura made the B-I-G-M-O-M pirates who were fighting and besieging subconsciously stop. Becoming stronger again. Katakori muttered to himself as he looked at Sha Hao's back, clenched his fists, and was very unwilling. One day I will become even stronger. Mom, mom, it's really a difficult kid. B-I-G-M-O-M felt the fierce and powerful domineering aura like a storm, and frowned, because this domineering power made her feel a particularly familiar feeling, just like Roger in the past. Could this little guy inherit Roger's will? B-I-G-M-O-M suddenly had a bold guess in his mind, but soon shook his head and denied it. Thunder and blazing sun half moon slash. A terrifying flame suddenly appeared on the Fang Tian Hua Ji, followed by a hissing sound, and white lightning flashed continuously. 
the two extremely violent and overbearing forces quickly merged and compressed. As Sha Hao's strong arms swung down, a slash flew out in an instant. In an instant, the sky and the earth changed color, as if the space was about to be cut off. Weo. Looking at the slash coming at high speed, Bigmom tightly grasped Napoleon's long sword with both hands, quickly condensing energy. When the attack distance was about 100 meters from Bigmom, Napoleon was swung, and a thick and long energy beam instantly collided with the slash released by Sha Hao in front. The two terrifying energies collided, and the whole island seemed to be shaking and trembling. Mixed with the conflict of domineering color domineering, the invisible shock wave swept across the area of several kilometers unscrupulously. The domineering color shock that hit the soul directly made the ordinary members of the Bigmom pirates, eyes turn white in an instant, and they all fainted on the ground. The weapons in their hands kept falling down. In an instant, only a few people were left barely standing. Boss is so handsome, this is the domineering color domineering. Ah Xing looked at the domineering color that could destroy hundreds of people with just domineering color. Sha Hao, an elite pirate, had eyes full of excitement and desire. How great would it be if he could awaken this ability one day? Haki. It seems I have to practice harder. DDT frowned as he watched the bombs attacked by the hockey, and then began to create a new type of bomb. This time, DDT rarely integrated the ability to utilize hockey, and soon an air bomb that was compressed hundreds of times was formed. I'm giving you a gift, this is my first time. DDT pushed with both hands, and the air bomb quickly floated towards the group of cadres of the Bigmom pirates. In an instant, Katakori felt an inexplicable terror and threat of death under the perception of hockey, and immediately shouted. Run, stay away from brother Perospero. Huh, what are you talking about? Perospero looked puzzled, but seeing many brothers and sisters moving away from him, his face became solemn, and he also felt a terrifying danger approaching. Candy Barrier. Subconsciously, Perospero wrapped himself up with candy. Since he couldn't escape, he used the power of the devil fruit to defend himself with all his strength. Boom. The candy barrier that had just been built was directly shattered by the terrifying energy shock wave at the moment of the explosion. The entire void was shaking. The huge aftermath of the explosion caused waves on the originally calm sea surface again. With Perospero as the center, a huge mushroom head composed of smoke and dust slowly rose. Hiss, it's much stronger again, DDT, you are worthy of being an artist who plays with explosions. Sha Hao took a breath and looked at a huge deep pit covering 3 to 5 kilometers in the distance. He was surprised. Talent is really amazing. If the superhuman bomb fruit is used by others, the power may not be 1% of this. Ahem, kid. I almost died. After a long time, the smoke and dust slowly dissipated, and an urgent cough sounded in the deepest pit at the center of the explosion. As the sea breeze blew, Perospero was seen sitting on the ground with disheveled hair. There was not a single piece of good meat on his body, and even one of his legs was directly blown off by the explosion. He looked at DDT with fear and anger on his face. Ah, DDT, your power is not good enough, and you didn't even scare people to death. Ashing curled his lips and said, watching the fun. Well, it's really far away. DDT nodded seriously. Ashing, I just said it, and you took it seriously. Everyone in the Bigmom pirates. Perospero, go to hell, if you use more power, I will be dead. The more you try, the better. Really, Axing, I think there is still room for improvement. After all, I will be the man who blows up the Red Earth continent in the future. DDT said in a very firm tone, because Sha Hao's words at the beginning made DDT feel that this was the highest art of explosion. Just ask, blowing up the entire Red Earth continent with one blow, no one has done it in the past 800 years in history. As long as DDT can do it, he is the one who has created a historical precedent and is truly worthy of his art of explosion. Yes, yes, keep working hard. Although Axing doesn't believe that anyone can blow up the Red Earth continent, but who makes DDT his partner. So, believe him. What if he succeeds? Ha ha ha, this guy is kidding, he wants to blow up the Red Earth continent, why doesn't he fly to the sky? That's right, he's just a little kid, does he really think bombs can solve everything? Stop kidding. HMPH, kill him and let him see the horror of a real pirate. 
Even with the power of the devil fruit, it is impossible to create such a terrifying bomb in an instant. Let's go together, we are the BIGMOM pirates, are we afraid of a mere newcomer? This guy, serious. Unlike the mockery of others, Katakori looked at DDT with a determined face and could feel his seriousness. Moreover, based on the expressions of Axing and others, Katakori could also judge that the power of the last bomb explosion was definitely not so great. This is also an extremely dangerous person. Although in the new world, many strong people no longer worry about the attack of bullets or even artillery shells with the help of domineering or strange devil fruit abilities, what if the power is stronger? Even for a natural devil fruit user, the elemental domain is limited. As long as the explosion power is enhanced and the coverage area is larger, Katakori even really foresaw that one day, an ordinary boy would bombard the Red Earth continent. However, the future is only the future. Since the Haotian pirates dare to go to war with the BIGMOM pirates, there is no future. Katakori narrowed his eyes slightly, and the trident in his hand instantly wrapped around the armed color domineering, and then the tall figure flashed, and attacked DDT fiercely. For the sake of his family, any source of danger should be eliminated. Wind God Seal. Hey, rice cake man, what do you want to do to my partner? At the moment when the trident was about to hit DDT who was unable to dodge, Axing put his claws together, and the powerful impact of the Wind God Pterosaur directly knocked him out. The speed was so fast that Katakori could not dodge for a while, and he didn't even have time to dodge using rice cake. Swoosh, boom boom, bang. Katakori flew backwards like a cannonball, breaking trees along the way, and smoke and dust rose up. Finally, he hit a huge stone heavily, and the terrifying force made the stone have dense cracks. Splitting Mountain Fist. Asterisk 2. On the other side, Mengshin fought three people alone and was not at a disadvantage. The incomparable strength of the giants and their unique violent domineering aura had a counter-suppression effect for a while. The cadres of the BIGMOM pirates went from welcoming the attack at the beginning to frantically dodging now, which was enough to show how powerful and terrifying Mengshin was. Is this giant a lunatic? He didn't feel tired at all in such a high-intensity battle. Said a cadre. HMPH, only brother Katakori came this time. If the four generals of desert were all here, this giant tribe would not be a match at all. Stop talking nonsense. Even if the four generals are not here, we, as Mama's children, cannot lose. Mama, Mama, I never thought that the kid on Roger's ship has grown to this point now. B-I-G-M-O-M looked at Sha Hao, who was equally matched with him, and laughed and sighed. Looking at Sha Hao's ordinary, less than two meters strong body, even B-I-G-M-O-M, who had seen countless men, couldn't understand why this kid was so powerful that he could be as powerful as himself. Even the power he was proud of couldn't take advantage of Sha Hao. What kind of monster is this kid? Ha ha ha, so, you old guys should retire. Next is our era. Sha Hao retorted bluntly. Demon possession. With Sha Hao's clear shout, the whole person released an amazing momentum again, and the violent breath hit everything around him wantonly. At this moment, whether it was strength, speed, or defense, it doubled. Boom. Without fancy skills, Sha Hao came behind BIGMOM in a flash, and the Fang Tian Waji with domineering aura flashed with thunder and chopped down fiercely. The terrifying attack made the void tremble, as if the sound of space being torn apart echoed in the ears. BIGMOM, who felt the danger, turned his head with wide eyes, and the Fang Tian Waji had already hit his huge and fat body. The terrifying force attacked his steel like skin and then the whole person flew out like a big iron ball, rushing all the way, and finally hit the pirate ship of the BIGMOM pirates directly. A huge deep pit appeared, and the huge ship cracked directly. Really thick skin. Such an attack only broke the defense. Sha Hao looked at BIGMOM, whose mouth was bleeding slightly, and curled his lips. He was very dissatisfied, but it was also possible that the great pirates galloping in the new world would not fail so easily. Mom, mom, you actually hurt me. Sha Hao kid. With his sturdy arms supporting the ground, he slowly stood up, staring fiercely at Sha Hao, his hair flying like a madman. Zeus. Prometheus. Napoleon. B-I-G-M-O-M shouted three names in a row, and the thundercloud, the flame cloud and the Napoleon sword instantly combined together. 
The sun Hazmi held the end of the sword, and the top of the sword passed through the thunder and lightning Hazmi, forming an energy ring, and a terrifying breath rushed over. Ming Guang Cannon. With Bigmom's loud shout, a dense laser was emitted from the sword head, quickly attacking Sha Hao, as if trying to penetrate Sha Hao's body. Blue Dragon breaks the sky. Facing the attack, Sha Hao was not afraid at all. The domineering aura of the king rushed into the Fang Tian Waji crazily. The powerful and terrifying energy made the space emit bursts of ordinary glass shattering sounds. The red and black lightning flashed. Sha Hao held the Fang Tian Waji with both hands. A gleam of brilliance flashed in his black eyes, and he also swung a slash. A dragon roar resounded throughout the island, and the huge blue dragon shadow flew towards the laser. Two terrifying energy shocks continued. Countless stones around were lifted up by the powerful breath. The sky that was originally full of white clouds exploded directly in this collision. The violent shock wave was constantly harassed in a circle. The powerful impact forced the Bigmom pirates who were fighting fiercely to stop fighting and defend the shock wave. They tried to open their eyes and look at the center of the island. A day later, the news of the battle between the Haotian pirates and Bigmom shocked the New World. The Haotian pirates, who were unscathed, once again refreshed everyone's cognition. As the captain, Sha Hao's bounty order directly reached 1 billion berries. The weather was very hot, and the weather was very hot. Grand Line, Marine Headquarters, Marinford. What a restless guy. It's only been a short time, and he has caused another earthquake. Marshal Sengoku looked at the newspaper in his hand with a gloomy face. The Haotian pirates fought against the Bigmom pirates and withdrew from the battle unscathed, which Sengoku had never expected. Although Garp has been saying that he should pay more attention to Sha Hao's whereabouts, Sengoku didn't take it too seriously. After all, compared with the great pirates Whitebeard Newgate, Bigmom and even Kaido, the beast who has developed rapidly in recent years, Sha Hao is really too young, and there are few members in the pirate group. Just like Roger in the early days, although his own strength was terrifying, there were not many members in the pirate group, and the threat to the world was not high, so before he became the pirate king and arrived at the final island of Raftal, his bounty was not higher than that of Whitebeard Newgate and Golden Lion Shaki, and the world government paid less attention to him. However, now, Sengoku was silent when he saw Sha Hao, who could fight Bigmom for a day and a night without a winner. Sure enough, there was no good guy in Roger's pirate group. So this time, Sengoku directly set the bounty at 1 billion berries. Although the real strength was far more terrifying than this bounty, for the sake of balance and stability, Sengoku did not increase the bounty too much. After all, it was just a battle, and it was far from the level of a life and death duel. Judging from the intelligence that the island where the battle was fought still existed, it was known that both sides did not use their full strength. In the New World, on the Boundless Sea, a bounty order fell on Axing's face looking up at the sky. Hey, boss, your bounty has increased again, and this time it has reached an astonishing 10 billion berries. After a few seconds of silence, Oshing burst into an excited shout and quickly ran towards Sha Hao who was bored fishing, as if his bounty had increased, jumping and jumping happily like a child. Ten billion berries, not bad. Sha Hao glanced at the bounty order, smiled and nodded, not particularly concerned, it was just a string of numbers. Uh, boss, you are not excited. What are you excited about? Underscore. The bounty has increased, as a captain, shouldn't you be happy? Except for those big pirates, your bounty is the highest among the younger generation. What does this mean? It means that you are the strongest among the new generation of pirates. Ah Xing said excitedly, waving his fist vigorously. Yeah, got it. Forget it, I won't tell you any more. Looking at Sha Hao's indifferent face, Ah Xing gave up and turned to share this good news with DDT and Mengxin, as well as his analysis of the pirate forces in the New World. Five days later, the Haotian finally arrived at the Holy Land of Chefs, Hankrilla Island, according to the direction of the record pointer. From a distance, Sha Hao and his group couldn't help sniffing, and a refreshing fragrance floated out from the island. For the Haotian pirates, who had been making do with food for a long time, this was an irresistible temptation. It smells so good. Woohoo, I really want to have a bite of this delicious food. It tastes really good, boss, let's get the boat over. 
Me too. Mengxin nodded vigorously, looking at the island full of real objects in the distance, and drooled with happiness from the corners of his mouth. Then, let's go and explore Hankrila Island together. This time I must bring back a great chef. Sha Hao also nodded seriously, and with a wave of his hand, the Haotian quickly drove towards the port. As they got closer and closer to the island, the strong fragrance made Sha Hao and his friends happier and happier, and the corners of their mouths unconsciously rose wildly. After all, who doesn't like delicious food? I can't wait. As expected of you, you are the boss. It seems that we have come to a very powerful island. Let me take a bite first to taste it. The Haotian was still 10 meters away from the shore. Mengxin couldn't help but reach out and grab a handful of the food chocolate black soil on the shore. The crisp sound of crunching kept ringing, and Ah Xing and Didati swallowed hard. The Haotian was docked steadily on the shore. Sha Hao turned his head and found that Ah Xing and the other two had all got off the boat and were eating like crazy. After a while, the coast became tattered and there were teeth marks everywhere. What a group of unsophisticated guys. Sha Hao gently broke off a piece of grass-flavored chocolate. Leaves, slowly tasted. There are ingredients all over this island. Now that we are full, how can we eat more delicious food later? You know, this island is a holy land for chefs. Chefs from all over the world gather here to learn cooking skills. Are you afraid of not having food to eat? Sha Hao and his companions continued to rush towards the center of the island. After walking for 10 minutes, they finally saw a luxurious and even extravagant food castle. People came and went. Looking up, they found a banner hanging above the castle, which read the 108th World Chef Competition. It's so lively, boss. Wow, there are so many chefs, and, and it smells so good. Hey, I'll definitely eat my fill this time. Hey, are you guys here to participate in the chef competition, too? Just as Sha Hao and his four companions stopped to observe if there were any suitable chefs to catch, no, when they were inviting them to get on board, a voice as sweet as a lark came to their ears. Sha Hao and his companions turned their heads and saw a girl in a chef's uniform, with long dark hair, a pair of clear pupils, soft and plump red lips, and especially her pair of round long legs, which was definitely the dream that countless Odicus could not refuse. However, looking at the saber on her waist, Sha Hao frowned. Is this a chef? Why does it feel a little strange? A beautiful swordsman chef. A magical idea suddenly popped up in Sha Hao's mind. If the cooking skills are good, it's not impossible. No, we are looking for a chef. Oh, hello, my name is Mina, and I am a contestant in this chef competition. Hello, my name is Sha Hao, I am a pirate, and I am looking for a suitable chef, Sha Hao smiled and said seriously. Pirate. Then you must have been to many places. Is the outside world fun? I heard asterisk 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 at an percent. The girl Mina began to ask Sha Hao frantically what the outside world looks like, because as a native of this island, Mina has never been out. Although she has always wanted to go to sea and cook all kinds of ingredients in the world, she has failed because of her poor sailing skills. Mina, do you want to go to sea? Of course. If you can get the top 10 in this chef competition, then I will take you to sea. Will you come? Become the chef of the Haotian pirates. Sha Hao looked at the excited Mina in front of him and said his conditions and made an invitation. Really? You want to take me to sea? Of course I am willing, don't worry, I will definitely have no problem in the top 10 of the chef competition, because since I participated in the competition, I have always been in the top 5. Mina smiled happily, her eyelashes curved, like a blooming peony, beautiful but not coquettish, gorgeous but not charming. Sha Hao. It seems a bit miscalculated, but maybe everything is fate. The chefs will gather ingredients on the island and prepare their best dishes for the food appraisers to evaluate. Only qualified contestants can enter the finals. Mina led the way and explained the rules of the competition. Soon, the group arrived at the coast. I have prepared all the ingredients for the qualifying round. I believe that I can advance with my strength. However, the ingredients for the finals are still missing one main ingredient, which is in the deep sea. In the deep sea. Well, there is a kind of fish located 1,500 meters in the deep sea. It is golden yellow and emits yellow flashes. The meat is very delicious. The champion of the 70th chef competition used this kind of glittering golden fish as the main ingredient in the dish. Mina nodded seriously and introduced it. 
As for why she knew so well, it was because the champion of the 70th chef competition was her grandfather. However, the ingredients are too difficult to catch. In the deep sea, they are as fast as lightning. Generally, they can't be caught at all. The traps I set up have not been successful. The closest one was taken into the nest of the sea king by the glittering golden fish and was almost swallowed. If I still can't catch the ingredients this time, I can only change the dishes. Mina's originally excited face was embarrassed, and she pouted her mouth and said unhappily. Deep sea. Sha Hao frowned and looked towards Mengxin for advice. Mengxin, what do you think? Are you sure you can catch it? Ah, uh, I don't know. You can only know after trying. But sir, my speed in the sea is not fast. Backquote Mengxin looked down at his huge and strong body, the meaning was very clear. The bigger the body, the greater the resistance in the water. Even if you have the swimming ability of the fish man blood, your speed will be much slower in the deep sea. I'll go with you. Sha Hao said in a calm and serious tone, wondering if the combination of the two skills of extreme speed and turtle breath can achieve unimaginable results. You guys want to help me, ideographic period. Well, of course, you are now a member of the Haotian Pirates, and it is normal for partners to help each other. Degree, degree great. I will definitely do my best. Mina clenched her fists and was very happy. Ten minutes later, Sha Hao and his party came to a rock on the south side of the island under the leadership of Mina. Looking at the deep blue sea in front of them, Axing and DDT watched from a distance. As devil fruit users, they seemed to have an innate aversion to sea water. Wait, why isn't the boss afraid of the sea water? Ah Xing slapped his forehead, looking at Sha Hao who had half of his body submerged in the sea water, and couldn't help but speak. Yes, isn't the boss also a devil fruit user? DDT also looked puzzled and asked Ah Xing. After all, Ah Xing was the first veteran to follow Sha Hao, and maybe he knew the reason. Speaking of which, we don't know what kind of devil fruit user the boss is, or it's not a devil fruit ability at all. Ah Xing's words made DDT and Mengxin silent. Thinking back, they really didn't hear Sha Hao introduce his ability. The time is up. This time period is the most active period for the shining golden fish. If you dive into the deep sea from here, you have a great chance to encounter the golden fish, Mina looked up at the sun above the sky and said in a serious tone. Well, I know, Mengxin, let's dive into the sea together to take a look. Understood. Come on, Captain Sha Hao. Swoosh. After a brief farewell, Sha Hao dived directly into the sea. At the same time, the skilled turtle breathing began to be activated. Then a mysterious special power surged into his body, and then Sha Hao clearly felt that he could play and breathe freely in the sea. Similarly, in the deep sea, Sha Hao pulled down the oxygen bottle, opened the observation hockey to the maximum extent, and looked for the glittering golden fish according to the picture he just watched. After all, the glittering creatures are extremely conspicuous in this dark sea. Search separately. Sha Hao glanced at Mengxin's huge body and said. Half an hour later, Sha Hao still did not find the figure of the glittering golden fish after searching for two miles around the sea. He was a little depressed. Just when he was about to change to another area to continue exploring, a golden flash flew past his eyes. It's finally here, Katakana middle dot. Backquote, my precious food, Sha Hao looked at the flying glittering golden fish, his mouth slightly raised, and began to predict its next move trajectory with the perception of the domineering sense of observation. Finally, when the golden fish was about 10 meters away from Sha Hao, Sha Hao made a move. Extreme speed. Sha Hao's figure flashed, and a series of phantoms appeared in the deep sea. When he appeared again, he had come to the position where the glittering golden fish was about to stay. In an instant, Sha Hao made a decisive move, and his powerful arms tightly grasped the struggling glittering golden fish in his hand, and no matter how it struggled, it could not escape. Just when Sha Hao was about to call Mengxin to start evacuating the seabed, a crack suddenly appeared on the originally calm seabed, and stones and sand rolled up. A pair of huge eyes like lanterns stared at the glittering golden fish in Sha Hao's hand, ready to take action at any time. Sea Monster. Quote, looking at the octopus that was more than 10 meters tall in front of him, Sha Hao clenched his fists. At the same time, the giant octopus suddenly stretched out a thick tentacle and tried to wrap Sha Hao up. 
Unfortunately, under the conditions of observation hockey and extreme speed, Sha Hao's body reacted subconsciously and dodged all the attacks. The speed was no different from that on land. Extreme speed. Multiple finger guns. Quote. The armed color domineering quickly wrapped around his fist, and then he gently extended a finger, his figure flashed, and he came to the front of the large octopus and attacked it quickly. The speed was so fast that it could not be observed by the naked eye. Soon, Sha Hao used reason to subdue the beast, and the dense attacks completely killed it. Bang, the huge body fell to the bottom of the deep sea, stirring up a piece of mud. Boss, I didn't see the shining golden fish, but I caught a large tuna. After a while, Mengshen held a tuna of more than three meters to find Sha Hao to gather. Well, very good, let's go up, shining golden fish, I caught it. Sha Hao took out a special fish cage from his arms, and a dazzling golden light came out from the inside. Wa la la. With the sound of the sea water stirring up and falling, the axing trio who had been waiting saw Sha Hao and Mengshen return with a full load. How is it? Fortunately, it has fulfilled the mission. Great, with it, I have the confidence to take a step forward in the chef competition, Mina was very excited as she looked at the glittering golden fish in the fish cage. Three days later, Mina successfully advanced to the finals of the chef competition after winning all the rounds. Sha Hao and his team came to the center of the island to cheer her up as enthusiastic spectators. Wow, it's so bright, what kind of food is this? Why have I never seen it before? This, this is the shining golden fish that lives 1,500 meters under the sea. I never thought that I could see such precious and rare ingredients in my lifetime. I will die with my eyes closed. Really. This fish is as fast as lightning in the deep sea. Most people can't even see its shadow, let alone catch it. It's true. I was lucky enough to see President Mondo of the Chef Union cook once decades ago. It was also that time that President Mondo won the championship with the dish made from the shining golden fish. Really. That's really Taikula. But who is this little girl? Can she cook this dish? She won't waste such precious ingredients, will she? Quote. Of course not, because President Mondo is her grandfather, and I grew up watching Mina, and she is a top-notch chef. Quote dot dot dot. Just pretend I didn't say that. Wow, it looks so delicious, boss, do you want to give the remaining ten glittering golden fish to sister Mina and let her cook them all? Axing looked at the pot in front of Mina not far away drooling, and breathing in the fragrance in the air with his nose, with a satisfied look on his face. How can such a delicacy be eaten up at once? Keep it in an aquarium, and eat it whenever you want during the voyage in the future, and catch some more before leaving, Sha Hao rolled his eyes at axing. Ingredients that others can't catch in their entire lives are readily available in Sha Hao's eyes. This is also a benefit of being strong. Boss, let's just make it. No matter what place Mina ranked in the chef competition, invite her to board the ship. You greedy guy, you can't resist the temptation of delicious food after all, but it smells so good, Sha Hao did not answer, but silently looked at the many chefs on the competition stage. It seemed that they were all old men and old ladies, and he had a plan in his heart. After all, although she is a chef and not the main force of the battle, she must have a strong body to travel and adventure in the Grand Line. After communicating with her for the past few days, Sha Hao found that Mina is still a swordsman with good strength and talent. Although she has not reached the level of a swordsman at present, she is more than enough to deal with ordinary pirates. Moreover, if someone teaches her one-on-one, -on -one, her strength will definitely be improved. Three hours later, the chef competition reached the final stage. After a series of evaluations, Mina successfully used her grandfather, President Mondo's recipe to make the dish of shining golden fish and received a full score. This was not because of President Mondo's face, but because the ingredients were precious and the taste was excellent. It was not difficult to see how delicious it was when looking at the expressions of each judge who devoured the fish like a wolf. He he he, I'm the champion. Mina's little face smiled like a flower, and she walked slowly to the podium with a swaying figure. It must be said that the people in this world have developed well. They look different from the front and the back, and they are different from the distance and height. Just as everyone was happily celebrating the successful completion of the chef competition, a very discordant voice came from behind. Everyone, don't move, fight, fight, rob. Robbery. 
The shark pirates are here, run. Someone shouted, and the whole chef conference was in chaos, and everyone started to run away. Intel. Bang. A gunshot rang out, and a rough voice came from the crowd. Whoever moves will die. Stupid human, hand over the treasure quickly. The captain of the shark pirates, Mondari Shark, raised his gun and threatened fiercely. Seeing hundreds of fishmen surrounding the crowd with real guns and live ammunition, all faces became gloomy, and an inexplicable sense of fear spread rapidly from the bottom of their hearts. As world-famous chefs, many people's dishes are worth tens of thousands of berries. It can be said that every chef here is worth millions. The big guys sitting in the judging seat are worth hundreds of millions, and they have made state banquets for many kingdoms. Hey, little girl, hurry up and give me the golden shovel and golden iron pot in your hand, otherwise, I won't show mercy to you. At this time, Mondari Shark suddenly set his eyes on Mina's championship reward, his scarlet eyes full of greed. As the medal of the chef competition, it is pure gold, and the prize money is as high as 100 million baileys. Pirate. Mina looked in the direction of Sha Hao, because Sha Hao once said that they were a pirate group, but looking at the ferocious pirate in front of her, and then looking at Sha Hao's handsome face, a sharp contrast was formed. Mina, the metal is just a thing outside of your body. Life is more important, an old man on the judge's seat whispered, after all, if you keep the green mountain, you are not afraid of running out of firewood. Grandpa Duolong, I know you are good to me, but this is the first medal in my life. I don't want to give it to anyone, let alone a group of bad guys. Mina's pretty face changed, and she received the medal. Her jade hand directly took out the sword at her waist, and it seemed that she would resist to the end. You. Hey, the old man Doran shook his head, hoping that the person who went out to report the news could bring people back quickly. In this way, even the shark pirates would be much more restrained, because the reinforcements were also a powerful pirate group, just asking for a little protection fee every year. He he he, it seems that the little sister is not willing to drink the wine, kill her. Monterey Shark waved his hand, and the two fishmen behind him strode forward with a sneer on their faces, quickly raised their guns, and prepared to shoot directly, and any human who resisted would die. Anyway, this is not the first time that this has happened. Fishmen are caught and sold as slaves by humans, so it is normal for humans to be caught and killed by fishmen. At this moment, Mina's figure flashed, and she quickly waved two beautiful sword flowers. The gun in the fishman's hand was directly cut off, and instantly turned into two halves of scrap metal and fell to the ground. HMPH, nothing special. Let's kill her together. Seeing his younger brother being easily dealt with, Mondari Shark clenched his sword tightly, and led the team to rush forward with a fierce look on his face, like a heavy tank, coming fiercely. Boom. One strike, just one strike, the terrifying force directly knocked Mina away, and the whole petite body flew backwards heavily. Before it was about to hit the ground, Shahao appeared behind Mina, picked her up directly, and then gently put her on the ground. Hey, this is the chef I found with great difficulty. What if he gets hurt and sad? Shahao looked at the fishman pirate group not far away with a cold tone, very angry. Ha! What is this guy talking about? Ha 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 ha, he is just a stupid and weak human, not to mention being injured, even if he dies, what does it matter? Mondari Shark's tone was extremely arrogant, as if a life was nothing in his eyes. You are right, weakness is the original sin, so, go to hell. Shahao slowly raised his head, and the domineering aura rushed towards the shark pirates like a fierce wave. The heavy, domineering and terrifying pressure was like a mountain pressing on the people of the shark pirates. The terrifying aura made 99% of the weak fishmen faint on the ground, and their breath was weak. You, 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 don't kill me. This is all a misunderstanding, let me go. Seeing this situation, the well-informed Mondari shark knelt directly. What dignity of the fishmen is not as important as life? Misunderstanding. I still like your unruly look just now. Please recover. Remember, keep a low profile in the next life. Shahao patted Mondari Shark's shoulder, and the poisonous dragon-killing magic instantly invaded his body. After three breaths, Mondari Shark lay on the ground steadily and motionlessly, sublimating on the spot. The old man was so strong, and the old man was so strong. So strong. Is this Shahao's strength? As a chef with dreams, Mina exclaimed excitedly. 
If you want to travel around the world, go to every corner of the world, and cook all the world's delicacies, in addition to top cooking skills, strong power is also the basis. After all, many ingredients require strong power to obtain. No wonder grandpa doesn't let me go out alone to adventure, are people outside so strong? Mina thought in her heart. Mondari shark. No, 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 there are not many humans who are so perverted. The domineering color domineering is not something that everyone can have. Hee <laughs> hee, boss, I went to the fishman pirate ship to learn from them, and I learned all the good stuff. Ah Xing slowly descended from the sky and said to Sha Hao with a smile on his face. Borrow from them. Yeah, sister Mina will know in the future. Ah Xing did not give a direct answer. After all, his borrowing was a little different from the surface meaning. It's just in front. Lord Owen, please save the people on the island. I am willing to serve the BIGMOM pirates for free for 10 years. A huge pirate ship docked at the coast, and an old man with a white beard said anxiously to a burly, strong man with three-section fan-shaped orange hair and an orange cloak on his upper body next to him. Oh. Ha ha ha, it's settled, I believe mom will also like your arrival, Mr. President of the Chef Association, as a cadre of the BIGMOM pirates and BIGMOM son, it is very clear to what extent BIGMOM likes food, especially if he can't eat specific food during a special time period, he will definitely go crazy. When he thought about it, Owen's tall body couldn't help trembling. The group quickly rushed to the center of the island. Before coming, Owen had already explored the information. It was just the fishman pirates with a bounty of just over 100 million. It was not worth mentioning at all and could be easily destroyed. Stop, stop. You evil pirates, we are now on an island protected by the great pirate BIGMOM, leave this island quickly. A hundred meters away from the chef competition venue, the voice came before the person, the white bearded old man Mondo shouted with all his strength. Quote question mark question mark question mark. President Mondo is back. Reinforcements. Did the president find someone to protect this island? Really? I can finally retire here. Just now I was thinking about leaving here and returning to my hometown to retire. But we have defeated the invading pirate group now, a sudden but sober voice came, making everyone in the entire competition venue inexplicably quiet. Yes, now the pirates have been driven away, the biggest threat in previous years is gone, and there is no need for pirates to find a shelter island. After all, pirates are pirates, and in the eyes of most people, they are bad guys. Just as everyone in the venue was talking about it, close footsteps came from a distance, and the huge Owen led the BIGMOM pirates to rush over quickly. Soon the entire competition venue was surrounded. Grandpa, what are you doing? Looking at President Mondo letting the pirates surround the competition venue, he asked with a puzzled look. Of course I'm saving you, hide behind me. President Mondo shouted loudly, his small eyes kept looking around. Save us. Grandpa. The invading shark pirates have all been captured, look. Underscore. President Mondo said as he looked in the direction of his granddaughter's gaze and found the pirates tied up by everyone, all motionless and unconscious at this moment. Really. Great. President Mondo was very happy and laughed up to the sky, but his expression became dull as he laughed. He promised to serve the BIGMOM pirates for 10 years. Now that the enemies have been eliminated, how can he say to the BIGMOM pirates? If I had known earlier, this is a large pirate group far exceeding the shark pirates, just like the pirate group cadres next to him, the bounty has reached 200 million berries, which is very scary. It's easy to invite gods but hard to send them away. What should I do? Ha 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 ha, it seems that the problem has been solved. However, President Mondo, don't forget your promise. Owen reminded with narrowed eyes. Promise. Grandpa, what promise did you make? Mina said anxiously. Please help us eliminate the invading pirates, save everything on this island, and serve the Charlotte family for free for ten years after the matter is over, Owen. He explained a few words with a nonchalant look, not worrying about accidents at all, because no one on this island can bear the wrath of BIGMOM. But the crisis on the island was resolved before you came. Humph. So what, you don't think I wasted a few hours playing with you guys? Owen's tone became cold. As the ability user of the heat hot fruit, he has a very hot temper, which can be seen from the red iron skin around his body. Lord Owen, 
how about we each take a step back? Please go out to see in person, and the Chef Association will take out 200 million berries as a reward. I beg you to show mercy and pretend that nothing happened. Mondo tried to lower his posture and whispered. No one expected that things would happen to this extent. Handle mercy. Humph, are you challenging the BOGMOM pirates? A powerful momentum emanated from Owen, and the heavy breath like the abyss pressed down the waists of everyone nearby. What if we challenge the BIGMOM pirates? Just when everyone was at a loss, Sha Hao, who had been watching the battle, flashed to Mina's side and looked at Owen calmly. Captain of the Haotian pirates, Sha Hao, why are you here? Seeing the newcomer, Owen's face changed drastically. The fact that Sha Hao and BIGMOM fought to a draw shocked the entire Charlotte family. But reality is reality. This former trainee of the Roger Pirates has grown to a point that no one can ignore. Leave here, this is not the place for you, BIGMOM Pirates. Sha Hao's domineering aura condensed into an invisible sharp blade and stabbed Owen's head fiercely. The intense and powerful pressure enveloped Owen alone, as if a needle pricked his nerves. After a while, he broke out in cold sweat. Owen looked at Sha Hao with fear and even fear. HMPH. Owen snorted coldly and left. He was not afraid, but there was no need to fight with Sha Hao and others. Yes, there was no need. Yeah, the bad guys are gone. Mina happily stretched out two fingers and said with a smile. Three days later, Mina persuaded Mr. Mondo to join the Haotian pirates to pursue her dream of traveling around the world and eating all the delicacies in the world. So far, the beautiful swordsman boarded the Haotian with meat. Sha Hao, you must not let Mina suffer any grievances, otherwise I will not let you go even if I risk my life. Don't worry, Mr. Mondo, this is the biggest treasure of our Haotian pirates. No matter who is wronged, we can't let our chefs. After leaving Hankrilla Island, the holy land of chefs, the Haotian quickly moved towards the next island with the current. Looking at the endless blue sea in front of her, Mina stood at the bow, letting the sea breeze blow her light yellow dress gently, with a satisfied look on her face. Finally, finally out to sea. Mina laughed happily, made trumpet-shaped hands and shouted with all her strength, and her sweet voice resounded throughout the sea. Seeing this scene, Sha Hao shook his head, chuckled, and then opened the system panel to look at it, wondering if there was anything good in this refresh. After a long period of accumulation, Sha Hao now has 2,300 secondary points and 800 million berry wealth. It can be said that Sha Hao went all in after a great draw. All 2,302 D points disappeared, and the system lottery page started to scroll wildly. Ding! Get a breath of air from the holy land of the pirate world, Marihoa. Tongzi, you're a fool. I still need to draw for air. Sha Hao was stunned. He never thought that he could draw such a thing. Air is a prize. Is there any morality? Is it the air of the holy land Marihoa? Can it make you immortal? Please pay attention to your quality, host. We must be civilized, set a new trend, and become a clear stream in the pirate world. Continue, Sha Hao said speechlessly and helplessly, not happy at all. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bottle of spring water from a hill in the holy land of Marihoa. Tongzi, I advise you not to go too far. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an animal type cockroach fruit. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an animal type zebra fruit. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an animal type ancient species crocodile fruit. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a superhuman type bird bird fruit, a pigeon shaped devil fruit. Tongzi, you're just selling devil fruits wholesale. Sha Hao was speechless. After 23 draws, in addition to the garbage air and water, he obtained 15 devil fruits, including 10 animal type devil fruits and 5 superhuman type devil fruits. It's useless for me to have this now. Sha Hao tried to calm down. For Sha Hao now, ordinary devil fruits are useless. With the terrifying vitality and recovery of wood release combined with the top level domineering domineering, Sha Hao is enough to stand at the top of this world. Hundred handed teacher Kaido once said, only domineering is everything, and only by mastering the top domineering can you become the strongest. After the lottery, Sha Hao set his sights on the system mall page to see the latest refreshed items. Skills, there is nothing I want. Devil fruits. Now I feel dizzy, because there are too many backpacks, and the most important thing is that there is no one I like. 
It would be nice to have a natural system. Props. Huh. Let me take a good look. It seems that there is a good thing. Demon Sword Thousand Blades, a powerful weapon composed of thousands of fragments, the handle is black, the blade has blue stripes, showing the pattern of evil spirits, and can glow. People's Evaluation, Demon Sword Thousand Blades, only attack, not defense. The price is 500 million baileys. Well, I can afford it. With this powerful sword weapon, I can use the skills I copied when I buried the captain. The wealth value on the system panel is reduced by 500 million baileys. Sha Hao raised his hand lightly, and the demon sword thousand blades instantly appeared in his hand. Feeling the blade tremble slightly, Sha Hao decisively input the powerful armament hockey. Turn into a black knife soon, I will lead you to kill people everywhere and let your reputation resound throughout the world. Sha Hao exerted force with his right hand, and the amount of domineering input increased again. The originally calm sea surface became turbulent because of Sha Hao's terrifying domineering, and the waves were higher and higher. Buzz, boom. God avoid. Sha Hao raised his hand and swung a knife. The powerful sword energy slashed on the sea surface in an instant. It seemed that the sword energy that could destroy everything directly cut a deep trench in the sea. The domineering domineering made the sea water unable to flow back for a long time. An unlucky sea king happened to pass by here and was immediately cut in half. The blood instantly dyed the sea surface blood red. Feeling the sudden outbreak of terrifying domineering, Axing and others quickly ran out of the cabin. What happened? Boss, do you want to fight? Axing looked around with big eyes, and his bright eyes flashed with excited fighting spirit. I only know how to fight. There is no enemy invasion. I just practiced just now. Hey, boss, this knife is pretty good. Upon learning that there was no battle, Oshing immediately wilted, but soon focused on the magic knife Chinran in Sha Hao's hand, and looked at it curiously. The handsome appearance was very likable. Do you need to tell me this underscore? Sha Hao rolled his eyes. By the way, I just caught a sea king. Go pull him up and let Mina make a delicious meal. Sha Hao changed his voice and raised his hand to the direction of the dead sea king in front. Circle dot operator oh circle dot operator wow, it's so big and thick. Mina shouted happily. This was the first time she saw such a big fish. Speaking of which, Mina, you have been on the ship for a few days. As the captain, I haven't given you a gift yet. I'll give you a knife. Sha Hao said as he took out the famous knife handbing from his backpack. After so many days of getting along, Mina also knew the magic of her captain, and the comparison was not surprising. It's so cold. Mina stretched out her white and tender hand to hold the hilt of the knife. A strong chill came over her, as if to freeze everything. Famous sword ice, can release the power of ice. The stronger the user, the stronger the freezing power released. Although it is not as powerful as the natural devil fruit, it also has one-fifth of its power. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it very much. Thank you, Sha Hao, Mina nodded happily. Her main job is a chef and her side job is a swordsman. By the way, I still have some devil fruits here. See if you want them. If there is no suitable one, you can choose it next time, Sha Hao said, taking out more than a dozen devil fruits and putting them on the table, dazzling everyone. So many. So many. More than last time. Devil fruit. Is it the fruit that can gain powerful power after eating? Mina's eyes lit up when she heard it. Well, let me introduce it to you. This is the animal type cockroach fruit. After awakening, you can turn into a cockroach and gain the ability of an immortal cockroach. It is very resistant to attacks. If developed properly, it is not inferior to the recovery of the ancient animal type or even the mythical beast type. No way, I don't want it. Mina was so scared that she waved her hands repeatedly and said no. This is the animal type hedgehog fruit, the ability is. Abba Abba. An hour later, Mina looked at the devil fruit in front of her with a tangled face. For others, it is something that can only be encountered but not obtained, but she didn't know which one to choose for a while. Don't you think it's annoying? There is nothing I can do. There are too many. Don't worry about it. You can choose later. Hee <laughs> hee, okay. The boat was still floating, but the boat was still floating. The Haotian continued to sail in the direction of the record pointer. It was calm all the way, and no accidents occurred. Soon, Sha Hao and his party arrived at the next island. After docking and stopping the ship, 
Shahao and his party officially landed on the new island. It's so quiet. Really, is this an uninhabited island? No, no, I smell the smell of bombs, and it's a very low-level bomb art. Give me two points at most. Didati frowned and sniffed hard. The smell of explosives in the air filled his nasal cavity, and he quickly determined that there were people on the island. People haven't left yet. The explosion time is no more than half an hour. After thinking for a while, Didati gave his own judgment answer. Let's go and see what happened. Sha Hao took the lead and walked forward. Since there was an explosion, there must have been a battle on this island. However, judging from the mess around, it seemed to be a one-sided suppression. One day, a group of vicious villains suddenly broke into the originally peaceful village. Sha Hao couldn't help but think in his heart, and the more he thought about it, the more reasonable it seemed. Boom. Ten minutes later, a huge artillery roar resounded throughout the island, and the powerful impact wave made it spread outward in a ring shape. The strong wind pressure blew everything around unscrupulously. The sudden explosion made Sha Hao and others notice the source of the sound. Sha Hao looked at a Xing, who instantly knew what he meant, and directly transformed into a half-beast and flew into the sky, flying quickly towards the source of the sound. A burst of wind sounded, and a Xing instantly disappeared in front of everyone. Is this the ability of A Zing's devil fruit? He can actually fly. Mina looked at A Zing's half-beast form her eyes sparkling with stars, she clenched her fists tightly, and her desire for the devil fruit deepened a little. Five minutes later, A Xing fell from the sky, with a look of disbelief, but still began to narrate everything she had just seen. The soldiers of this kingdom are slaughtering civilians. A Xing's short words shocked everyone. It was hard for anyone to believe that the soldiers of this kingdom slaughtered civilians. But A Xing witnessed it with her own eyes, and this was the truth. Boss, us. A Xing cast a questioning look at Sha Hao. We. Just do it if you want to, A Xing. You should know that we are pirates pursuing freedom. There are no rules or regulations at all. Just act according to your heart. Sha Hao looked at A Xing's hesitation and said that since A Xing wanted to save the people on the island, Sha Hao agreed with both hands. After all, saving a life is better than building a seven story pagoda. Hee <laughs> hee, then I'm relieved. Boss, I'm going. A Xing heard Sha Hao's words, and his black eyes released amazing light. The whole person disappeared in an instant like a meteor, and the speed was so fast that it was astonishing. Let's go too. Sha Hao's voice fell, and his figure flashed, and he quickly rushed towards A Xing. The extreme speed made Sha Hao look like he was flying, and his feet didn't even touch the ground. In the southwest corner of the island, the originally peaceful and peaceful village has now become a ruin. At the head of the village, hundreds of ordinary villagers are all kneeling on the ground, constantly begging the soldiers in front of them to spare their lives. Let us go, sir, we are all innocent. Yes, 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 what rebels. There are no such people in our village. Really, sir, we don't know what happened, but it is impossible for our village to betray the country. General, this. Together. Kill them all. Execute, it is better to kill by mistake than to let a person go, dare to assassinate his majesty the king, as long as the people involved must die. The general of the kingdom spoke in a cold tone, his face full of flesh, revealing his violent character all the time, with a long knife in his hand, a strong killing intent enveloped everyone. Seeing their own general's order, the soldiers were unwilling, but they did not refuse, because obeying orders is their duty. Raise the gun. A loud shout scared the originally trembling villagers. Looking at the still indifferent and ruthless general of the kingdom and the cold muzzle of the gun, the rebels hidden among the villagers stood up. Don't shoot, I have something to say. Go ahead. I am a rebel, let them all go, I will go with you. Catch them. Hearing someone confess voluntarily, Wang Guo. The general's expressionless face finally showed a hint of expression. With a wave of his hand, more than a dozen soldiers walked towards the rebels. Soon, a total of five rebels hiding among the civilians were arrested, put on extremely heavy shackles, and knelt on the ground. Kill. A cold voice sounded. The rebels thought that sacrificing themselves could exchange for the lives of others, but unfortunately, all this was wishful thinking. No, 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 you can't kill them. You promised us to let ordinary people go, a rebel said anxiously. Ha 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 ha, let them go. When did I say this? 
This group of stupid civilians dared to hide criminals today, and they dared to assassinate the king tomorrow. This general just strangled all troubles in the cradle. As the third general of the kingdom of Phyllis Yod and the direct descendant of King Phyllis, General Mo Fila knew his position very well. Completely eliminate all voices in the kingdom that oppose King Phyllis. This time, the large-scale rebellion in the kingdom was also because King Phyllis was usually cruel and inhumane. He often levied taxes crazily without regard for the lives of the people because of his own preferences, leaving nearly 98% of the civilians in the country hungry and cold. Therefore, under the leadership of people with lofty ideals, a war of resistance was launched. Fire. General Mo Fila glanced at the soldiers who did not take action, kicked the nearest soldier away with a flying kick, and shouted loudly. What a brutal country. Sha Hao looked at the soldiers who raised their guns to massacre innocent and powerless civilians, shook his head, and the moment the soldiers raised their guns. The domineering aura of the overlord was instantly released, and the terrifying aura swept across the entire island in an instant. The domineering pressure made many soldiers who had pulled the trigger roll their eyes, fainted together, and fell heavily to the ground. What's going on? General Mo Fila was horrified. Seeing the soldiers who lost their fighting power in the blink of an eye, an inexplicable fear emerged from the bottom of his heart. His small eyes kept looking around, looking for the source of the pressure. Bang! At this moment, a shing fell from the sky. The powerful impact stirred up a cloud of dust. Looking at the panicked civilians and the overly frightened General Mofila, a shing strode forward and grabbed General Mofila's collar. Then, he punched him in the cheek. What I despise most is trash like you. The enemy was beaten to a pulp. Bang. Ah Shing punched General Mo Fila's huge body with a fist, and the terrifying force bent his body, and he retreated dozens of meters like a shrimp with a bent waist, and hit the wall of the house behind with a bang. Ahem, ahem, who are you? General Mo Fila asked with horror on his face. Such a powerful strength is almost known in this kingdom, and it is obvious that Ah Shing is not among the people he is familiar with. Haotian pirates, your grandfather Ah Shing, Ah Shing said with his nose up, very arrogantly, and he always looked down on people who only knew how to bully the old, weak, sick and disabled. A real strong person should challenge a stronger person. Pirates. You are pirates. Don't you know that the kingdom of Philiziad is a member of the world government? Aren't you afraid that his majesty the king will ask the world government to send the navy to encircle you? When he heard that it was a pirate group, he immediately became much tougher. After all, this was an internal problem of the kingdom, and few pirates would work hard for a group of low-class people. Because pirates can't get anything. For this poor village in front of them, treasure. Don't be ridiculous, it's just stones. Navy. Ha ha ha, I'm really afraid, Ah Shing said with an exaggerated and mean face, and then kicked it again, directly kicking it out. The powerful impact made Mofila bleed wildly, coughing wildly, and his whole body seemed to fall apart. What about the navy? Even if the admiral of the navy came in person, he still failed. We are the Haotian pirates. Ah Shing said with disdain. Now in this endless sea, unless three admirals are dispatched at the same time to lead dozens of navy warships to round up, otherwise, the Haotian pirates are not afraid at all. Although there are few people, each of them is as strong as a monster. In a real battle, ordinary navy can't intervene at all. The small number of people is also an advantage. The mobility is too strong. As long as three or five people find an uninhabited island to hide for a while, even the world government can't find it. The most important thing is that Sha Hao and his friends have nothing to worry about, and there will be no situation where they are threatened by the world government with their families. Keep going forward and take a look. Sha Hao looked at the two people in confrontation and said in a flat tone. Everything is up to you. Since you meet them, just take care of them. Got it, boss. Hearing this, Ah Shing responded loudly, and then knocked General Mo Fila unconscious with a heavy hammer. Thank you, thank you, but our village is too poor. My lords, we have no treasure to give to you, please let us go. Seeing that the kingdom army was so easily dealt with by Sha Hao and others, the leader of the surviving rebels immediately knelt down and begged for mercy from Sha Hao in panic. After all, he just heard that Sha Hao was a pirate. For most ordinary civilians, pirates are extremely evil and often do some things such as robbery and looting, which makes ordinary people very scared. 
Huh. What are you doing? We are not ordinary pirates. Besides, uncle, we are not interested in your little treasure. Ah Xing glanced at Sha Hao, then stepped forward and said. Robbing treasures. What wealth do these ordinary people have? If they want to do something, they will do something big, such as the treasure house of other big pirate groups, and the protection fees provided to the celestial dragons by various kingdoms in the world. Really? Of course. We are a principled pirate group. Ah Xing patted his chest and assured. Huh. Seeing this, the surviving villagers breathed a sigh of relief, and the spirit that had been hanging on them suddenly dissipated, and almost all of them collapsed on the ground, because the highly nervous spirit was overdrawn too much. Hey, don't hide, come out. Otherwise, we have to take action. Just when everyone was quiet, Sha Hao looked in one direction and said in a serious tone. Don't, don't do it, we are not the army of the kingdom. In fact, we are here to liberate this kingdom. The whereabouts were exposed, and the revolutionary army advance team hidden in the woods in the distance hurriedly came out to explain. Just kidding, Mr. Dorag and several cadres are not here, and when Sha Hao and his group attack, they are not just delivering food. It's better to explain the purpose of coming, because although they are pirates, the revolutionary army did not feel any malice from Sha Hao, especially the attitude towards the villagers. The revolutionary army. Dragon's team. Sha Hao looked at the few people and said. Yes, yes, it's the revolutionary army led by leader Dragon. Captain Sha Hao knows our leader. I guess so. Sha Hao nodded. Sha Hao knew Dragon's background very well. He was the son of the Navy hero Garp, the father of Luffy who might become the pirate king in the future, the leader of the revolutionary army, and he was called the most vicious man in the world by the world government in a few years. Compared with the majestic pirate group on the sea, the revolutionary army led by Dragon is more threatening, because the ideas he promotes are undoubtedly shaking the absolute rule of the world government. Moreover, the revolutionary army encourages civilians to resist the regimes of kingdoms around the world, which is also a challenge to the world government. The replacement of kingdoms, the overlapping of regimes, and the successful rebellion made the world government very embarrassed. Because, although the world government has been promoting peace, this sea does not need real peace, the world government needs a relative balance, only in this way can it better rule the whole world, otherwise, too stable life can easily make people have wild thoughts, produce greed and even challenge theocracy. The will of freedom and equality is not allowed to appear. The celestial dragons are called the descendants of the high gods, which is enough to reflect their status. Since the revolutionary army appears here, then the next resettlement work will be handed over to you, Sha Hao looked in the direction of the revolutionary army and said seriously. Although the Haotian pirates defeated the kingdom army with force, it was only a temporary solution. Since the revolutionary army dared to participate in the regime change of this kingdom, they must have their own methods and professional counterparts. Ah, good, good. The captain of the revolutionary army nodded repeatedly. He had to be careful to deal with the strong. Let's go, let's go to the capital of this kingdom to take a look. The change of royal power in the kingdom is a rare opportunity to witness. Sha Hao turned around and said to a Xing and the others. Captain Sha Hao, the capital is on the largest island 100 nautical miles away. This is a record pointer, which is already full of magnetism. Hearing that the Haotian pirates were going to the capital, the captain of the revolutionary army turned his eyes and took out a record pointer from his pocket and handed it to Sha Hao. That's right, can you take us for a ride? Our ship is broken. No problem, let's go. Great, we can finally meet up with the leader, the revolutionary army advance team was very excited. The boat was about to sail, but the boat was still in the water. Three hours later, the capital of the kingdom of Philistia, Fister Island, was located in the center of the island. As soon as the Haotian docked, a huge explosion sounded from the coast. At the same time, screams continued to sound. The fierce gunfight made the originally gorgeous island riddled with holes, and the tall buildings became dilapidated. Countless civilians ran out of the smoke-filled battlefield. War, whether it is a just war or an evil war, the most injured and helpless are always the civilians at the bottom. The prosperity of the people makes the people suffer, the decline of the people makes the people suffer. Looking at the chaotic scene in the distance, Sha Hao couldn't help but sigh, but he didn't expect that when he said this, the eyes of the revolutionary army captain behind Sha Hao lit up and released a glimmer of brilliance. 
Such a powerful fighting force plus such a deep understanding, it would be great if it could be brought into the Revolutionary Army. Although the Revolutionary Army focuses on the change of ideas and allows the lower-level civilians to take up weapons in their hands to resist oppression, the Revolutionary Army also needs a strong fighting force as a trump card. If it weren't for the cadres headed by Dragon, the Revolutionary Army would have been completely wiped out by the world government. Although I know I shouldn't bother you again, I still want to ask you and your partners to help my companions. Many people have died in this war. Seeing that the Revolutionary Army and the Kingdom Guards had casualties, the Revolutionary Army captain behind Sha Hao couldn't help asking for help. Although the hope was slim, he still wanted to try. What if it succeeded? In such a large-scale battle, even if I lead a team to support, there will be no significant effect. No problem, but asking us to help needs a price. For the first cooperation, 100 million baileys will do, Sha Hao's voice fell, and the whole person disappeared from everyone's sight. He appeared again in the sky where the Revolutionary Army and the Kingdom Army were fighting. Hey, hey, hey. I can't make the decision, big brother. The captain of the Revolutionary Army collapsed. 100 million baileys are not 100 baileys. It's not enough to sell him for so much money. Hey, everyone who fought, how about giving me a face? That's it. If you continue to fight, both of you will suffer heavy losses. A sudden voice came from the sky, and the two sides who were fighting fiercely stopped their hands surprisingly tacitly and looked up at the sky. Who are you? A cadre of the Revolutionary Army. Fire, kill him. As the second general of the Kingdom of Phyllis Yod, Monfili frowned, but when he saw Sha Hao was slightly closer to the direction of the Revolutionary Army, he was immediately furious and ordered to fire directly. Sure enough, they are a group of irritable guys, fighting over a disagreement. If such people rule the country, what else can we wait for but to destroy it? Sha Hao looked at the rapidly flying shells, not panicking at all, but shaking his head and sighing. He he he, blow you to death, blow you to death. You will do anything to challenge the kingdom of Phyllis Yod. Humph, you wait, his majesty the king has reported to the adults of the world government, and the navy headquarters will send a general to come in person, you are dead. Ha 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 ha. Montpili looked at Sha Hao motionless, thinking that he was scared silly, and mocked him crazily. What a bad and low-level art, Detour. DDT appeared below the Revolutionary Army's position, raised his hand slightly, facing the bomb, and then waved it downward. The shell that was originally flying towards Sha Hao paused briefly, and then quickly fell towards the direction of the Kingdom Army. During the landing, the shell that was originally the size of a head rapidly expanded, expanding more than 30 times, and then exploded under the horrified look of Montpili, and the violent air wave directly dispersed the entire Kingdom Army camp. The powerful shock wave swept everything wantonly, and more than half of the thousands of soldiers were killed or injured. Hey, it seems that my face is not big enough. I have to learn more when I see Shanks in the future. Sha Hao shrugged, and then flew down from the sky. Remember, 100 million baileys, remember to pay. Sha Hao said seriously when passing by the captain of the Revolutionary Army. 100 million baileys. What's going on? As the frontline combat commander of the Revolutionary Army, the Revolutionary Army's Southern Army Captain Lindbergh asked in confusion. Um, Army Commander, this is what happened, Abba Abba. The Revolutionary Army Captain quickly explained what happened. His rough face looked aggrieved, which made Sha Hao frown. This guy is a bit disgusting. Oh, let's do this, it's okay, after all, Captain Sha Hao helped. We are very busy, but I believe Captain Sha Hao also knows that our revolutionary army is relatively poor, so. So you want to default on your debt? Ahem, of course not, we can exchange with other things, such as devil fruits or treasure maps of a certain kingdom, etc. Lindbergh's expression froze, and he waved his hand and said. After a brief introduction, Lindbergh already knew Sha Hao's identity, a pirate with a bounty of one billion berries, who had challenged the BIGMOM pirates and remained undefeated. Such a terrifying guy would be given face even if the leader of Dragon came. The revolutionary army is in its infancy and cannot withstand the destruction. Lindbergh dare not gamble, and will not let the Revolutionary Army have one more enemy for a little berry. Okay. Sha Hao pondered for a while, nodded and agreed to this suggestion. Bulu Bulu, Bulu Bulu, Gata. 
Lindbergh, how is the situation over there? The voice of Den Den Mushi sounded, and a cool and unrestrained voice came. Although it was just a voice, Shahao could still judge that the other party was very generous, yes, really generous. Betty, of course it was successful, I am Lindbergh. Really? When did you become so fast? Now that the battle is over, hurry up to support the central town and take it down in one fell swoop. According to intelligence, Admiral Fungian is on the way. We only have one day. Betty, the captain of the Eastern Army, puffed out a cloud of smoke and said in a serious voice. Got it, I'll go now. Hearing this, Lindbergh's expression also became serious. He immediately ordered to reorganize the equipment and rushed to the central town. Don't worry, our revolutionary army will not break its promise. We will definitely reward you after the battle. Just after walking out not far, Lindbergh suddenly turned around and loudly assured Sha Hao. After all, the Haotian pirates are not an ordinary team. I still believe in the credibility of the revolutionary army. Sha Hao smiled calmly. Those who do great things will not be without vision. Boss, what are we going to do next? Ah Xing asked curiously. Go here. Sha Hao took out a map and pointed to a location. Here. Is there anything special? Nothing special, just the life wealth of the second general of this kingdom. Sha Hao glanced at the dead second general of the Phyllis Yod kingdom and shrugged. Hey, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, boss. Upon hearing the treasure, Ah Zing's eyes lit up and shouted excitedly. Let's go. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.